god. Looking for his dick to fell off. Yeah. Man, he ain't gonna find that. Call my phone. He didn't have a dick since he was little. What do you mean? You haven't even clicked it. Don't know if I clicked what? I tried to click it. Yes, he does. I've already clicked it. Yeah. And started. Welcome to. Yeah. Is it counting down at the bottom? Uh, we need to pull up the map. Just live. Just no. stop recording. The map ain't even out. Oh, it is red. The map's not even out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi everyone. Mute your phone, you dumb fuck. Yeah, welcome map to Dungeons, fine. Dragons, and Dimwits. Unfortunately, Jeff couldn't join us this time, okay. but we're going to carry on good. without him. So, stop what's our recap? Me. Here's our recap. I don't fucking remember. I'm talking my Wi-Fi. Because we did a, like a bunch of nothing. <laughs> well, we did a bunch of useful shit. Yeah. Read this, Charlie. Last time. I ain't reading shit. You all met Jeff in the bazaar, and he decided Where to you join go? your team. Uh, oh, I Joshua off attempted to um, <laughs> violently assault an old man in a wheelchair. I just looked at him. Um, we all know you that. assaulted him with, the, with your face. Yeah. Uh, Noah's character, of course, decided, Buster, decided that he was going to uh, fuck around with a certain orc at the bar. I didn't intend it. Okay? <laughs> I didn't intend it. Yeah. He yeah. meant it. Yeah. Um, and, was that uh, last session or was the session before? No, that was last session. And, uh, oh, oh, Bam's sword here will be ready in one day's time. Oh, and also, um, Onyx is currently wanted for, um, groping guards. When did this happen? It did. Yeah, it okay. Happened. I didn't notice it at the time, but upon reviewing the footage... <laughs> it happened. It happened. Uh, oh, there is a okay. sexual assault case going on. The second case of sexual assault since this campaign started. We really shouldn't have gone past the first, but that's how that uh, is. I wasn't really trying to sexually assault. I just wanted some dick. I'm sure that would hold up so well okay. when you're called back to the heart. So, house. I didn't actually... Touch him. There's an elephant more, in the party. I'm more like just hold my pants down and yank on my. Oh, by the way, his dick has been blown off. What? Yeah. I thought it was Sorry, on I'm, thinking the tor I'm thinking the bull. Yeah, you had a grenade go off right underneath you. I, I think, think you know grand. that everything south of the border <laughs> is nothing short of a Swiss cheese ball. Nah. So that means they like, can all close his legs? No, it's just one. No, just no, one. Just and, one. His, and his uh, extra leg. And his crotch, yes. It's wee wee. Anyway, so. When we all left off, you made it back from the mountain. You successfully managed to turn in the body of uh, the blacksmith's apprentice. And you also turned in a great deal of iron ore for the village. So now they're not going to run out of supplies so quickly. However... Things still look pretty shitty. And they're going to continue to look shittier because this whole town is one gigantic quest marker waiting to happen. <laughs> I cast Fireball. No. Mug your ass! I'm not gonna say anything about how I can cast up. Fireball. No. <laughs> anyway. Who hit me? Yeah, man. You guys all guys you? What? I don't know. So who it let is. me pull up the map of. Um... Hey, Noah's over here waiting on you. Hey, you come on by. Noah's over here waiting on me. Not you, her. Not you, her. Oh. Uh, she's gonna give me some uh, uh some Tylenol. My side is cool. killing me. Day cool. cool. Whichever. Whatever one works. The day cool will take care of your sinuses. Tylenol will take care of your headaches. Okay. Okay. I probably need that too. The day cool will also do that. She took my cup. Or should. Okay. She took my cup. Well. Good. Ow. I hope she pisses in it. Yeah, she quilled my it day. Get hurt, does it? Matthew has his knife out. He, he has his banana out. He stabbed me. He smacked me with his banana. Why is there a 
pixie stick inside the sword. Not a pixie stick. Charlie, what the fuck have you done? Why light. isn't this just recording the TV? Huh? Why isn't this just recording the TV? Was it supposed to? I'm yeah, thinking it was supposed to. That's what we were doing yeah. last time. What are you doing? Uh, what uh, loaded image. No. Okay, well then you're going to click on add and click on display instead. Tracy, one more cup. And capture the display cap. No more candy. Okay. How many sets of these do you have, Alex? Yeah, um, two? Yeah, just two. Oh, uh, what in the fuck is that? What? what the fuck? <laughs> Charlie, don't you need to... And your booze are on Charlie's desk. Like, every time you hit me with that, I'm going to stab you. Yeah, I'm going to lose your banana privileges if you don't stop. Okay. Okay. Just keep going. Over here on camera. You're going to do breakfast you're gonna lose your banana privileges if you don't stop. So, okay. I, I just <laughs> image. But whenever you go back to TV, um, on image, just click on the eye and hide the eye. That's why I, I changed it yeah. to image. Your boobs are on Charlie's desk, you dipshit. Okay, they can stay there for now. Well, why can't... Okay, can we zoom this thing out? So yeah, it took me a second to find it because my last pack that I bought yeah. was all Nyquil and not Dayquil. So what have you changed since last time? Is TV what? the 4K TV? Are you TV able to read that's bad handwriting? Yes. Could you try reading what this it's elder pen does? It was perfect last time. Well, never mind. If Matthew can read it. Thank you. No, no, I think all mine. It, it went worked home. absolutely perfectly. We had no problems. Charlie's going to have to shrink though. this. It will stay shrunk. Right, you see, I, like, I love this picture. Right, pass it says, it's just fucking normal. I love this picture. Okay, there. And now it's a fucking sorcerer pack. Wonderful. I won't change it next time then. I'll leave it just like that. It's where it says Elder Cannon. Ah! Ah! Oh, Lord, this is already turning into a porno. Okay, which one? It says uh, everyone's clothes are on, still on El so far. Elder... El Elder no. Cannon. Elder Penetration. Yeah. Everybody starts freaking out here. Okay. So. Okay, Charlie's one that needs to try to read this because this is really close to his handwriting. Uh, no, I didn't write it. Okay, so. so. No, Vance Whistler. You... Oh, he wants that Twitter. long floppy thing. You so. can take... Uh, 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 action to... I said hand. Magic Create a Sam's small or tiny elder cannon in a something radius. Anyway, so you get radius with five. You all wind up right back Cannot. here next to the forge. Damn road out. Don't make sure you can read it. Yeah, hmm. right out here. So basically, the guy behind the counter told you that the sword would be ready in one day. Now, as soon as you come walking, you all come walking out of there, job well done, a whole bunch of money had been paid to you and all that, that's all well and good. Wait, I got money? Uh, yeah, this demented bitch comes running up to you. <laughs> She's hot. Oh, she man, like uh, uh, Yes, she does. She looks like Scarlet she says, from Guild Wars. Adventurous, can you help me? No. <laughs> we are not fucking. By the way, she is clutching a bloody knife in her hand. Are we? <laughs> are we gonna get to play? Oh God, it's gonna be a dark brotherhood oh, God. side quest. No, no. Adventurers, you, you have to you have to listen to me. No one else will help. No shit. This city is filled with monsters. Monsters that come out around every corner when you least expect it. In every alley and nook and cranny. When the lights go out, the monsters come to attack us. Don't talk to me like that. No one else seems to notice it but me. I want to cast Comprehend Language so I can understand what the fuck she's saying. Because <laughs> yeah. she is clearly out of her mind. She is clearly out of her mind. Roll to cast. <laughs> I shall use my fancy metal dice. No, my goodness. 19. You perfectly well understand her, but the words have not changed. Damn. Yeah, she's insane. <laughs> um, yeah. Fine. Yeah, I tried monsters that. are around every corner. And uh, roll perception, somebody. I will. Yeah. I will. Somebody roll perception. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, someone else needs to. I rolled a three. Yeah. Uh, uh, is Michael that a 20? Yes. I rolled a four. Uh, I think Noah rolled a three, too. Yeah, <laughs> I know you go. Yeah, you will notice that there is no fucking monsters anywhere in sight. Yeah. Um, nor do you even hope to sense any. There really seems to be nothing wrong as this sleepy little town blissfully wanders around, ignorant of the fact that they are only a few weeks away from starving to death. So, yeah. She's sitting there, still, still holding the knife in her hands. Uh, it's quite apparent that it's no, probably her cool. own blood in her hand, as a matter of fact. Can I check her to see if she's got a crown of madness on her? This is a, a, a spell that can be cast where it literally places a crown of madness. I have crown of madness. Her. I also have crown of madness, but I'm wanting to make sure that we could... Because that should be a visible item. It is a visible uh, item. Yeah, she doesn't have any visible item on her head. Okay, well, she, she does not have a crown of madness. Yeah. Um, I mean, she's still standing there looking at you all like... Why won't you say anything? Ma'am, show us these monsters and we shall vanquish them yeah, one show us hole monster. at a time. Yeah, lead us to a dark alley. I'll tell you this. One hole at a time? My name is Connie Adventures. I'm this so glad you'll job. help me. The town guard refuses to listen to my pleas any longer. Connie, we said show us the monster. Stop talking about Is yourself. that the town guard's blood on your knife? No, 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 no. I, I was attempting... To defend myself from one of the monsters, but I accidentally cut myself in the panic. Oh wow, it was her blood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she, anyway. She's her dad. <laughs> she is the monster. <laughs> so, Connie leads you yeah. around the edge of the bazaar mm -hmm. and back into the alleyways of the houses. And she says, I see them. I see them around Fucking here. Fucking gummy bears! What? I see them around here in the afternoons and nights. It, uh, you got gummy bears. Oh, gummy bears. Okay, well, that's not my gummy uh, bear. Anyway, I see them around here in the afternoons oh. and nights. Most people don't even seem to notice them, but I see them all the time. And then uh, she turns to walk down one of the alleyways and immediately starts panicking and screaming, There! There it is! There it is! In the shadows. It's not very clear. Maybe someone should roll for perception. I'll roll. D20? Let's do this again. I, I don't get it. I won't yeah. either. I had a two. I have a three. Yeah, got ten. Oh, I got eight plus two perception. Ten. I have hair trigger. I got one. I could then see Charlie. it. Charlie! Charlie! You're blind! <laughs> I mean, we all know I'm going to fail at this. I rolled a fucking fifteen. Holy shit. You rolled you got the highest! <laughs> perception, um... Oh wait, perception? Is there that? I don't have any on I would have gotten a plus seven, but you know, I got one. None of you can see shit. Can I use detect evil and good? Fantastic. Wait, what? That can I use detect evil and good? Try it. Why does Josh want to have Noah's character? 18 plus 4. That's Noah's last character. Uh, so that would be uh, 22. Give me a you little have, bit! You don't sense any evil coming from the area where she's pointing. However... You do sense evil. Wait, you don't have a fear. From her hurt? hand. Oh. The knife is cursed. I uh, cast cure wounds. I choose to take the knife from her. <laughs> Roll strength or dex. Uh, <laughs> hey, can can Josh get a please figure stop. now, please? I forgot Noah didn't have one. I gave him Josh. 19 oh, plus 3, so 21. Yeah. <laughs> you can use Charlie's old figure. Don't break it and don't <laughs> eat it. Eat it. <laughs> 19 plus 3, so 21. You managed to wrestle the knife out of her hand. Now, am I corrupted? Uh, let me see that character sheet for a second. Like a <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it the knife that's de that's cursed? Yeah. Ah, shit. I want to be cursed. Okay. Uh, well, that's not good. What? what? It's basically. Yeah! And you pretty fucking stupid, aren't you? No, I have high intelligence because of my family. Mm. Maybe I don't know. You might not have enough wisdom or dexterity, though. I don't think I have enough dexterity. Roll me a d20. What's that? Two. I guess it don't matter. I could just use command. Make he it immediately drop starts seeing visions of horrid monsters all around him. Sickening, twisted, gargoyle-like beasts multi-headed abominations 
and undead walking towards him with saliva dripping from their maw. I want to use command. Like, roll, roll to keep from falling unconscious. For the shock. That's command when it works. Command. I can command with draw. Nine. Not weapon. Okay, and if he's not saying. You just barely manage to stay awake, but you topple backwards in fear and start screaming. Can I? I would like to use the tech magic. Go ahead. Roll. We all know it has magic on that blade. You see, it had a curse in it. Thirteen plus my charisma, which is four. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. You can Next see that the it. knife is clearly magic. I would like to attempt to kick the knife out of his hand. Strength check. Go ahead. 15, 16, 17. You succeed. He can drop the knife. All right, so he, the visions the vanish, and you are immediately relieved. I, like I want to cast like D spell magic. magic. What? I want to cast D spell magic. No? D spell magic? I don't think that would be able to work oh. on an enchantment. I have a break curse. I have a. Uh, uh, like well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got a uh, noble disguise kit. I would like to bridle, put the cloth around the knife, and pick it up. What? Okay. Can't seen awareness. I could have Works passed it perfectly out well. Out if Matter of fact, you learned from last uh, from our last campaign when my character did the very same thing to hold a cursed ruby. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I turned into a slime beast. So what? Yeah. You turned so into a slime. Oh, oh, oh. My oh, oh, oh. skin was slime. So what yeah. is? Are you m m imitating Java? Yeah, because I heard the <laughs> oh, Charlie, and I was like. <laughs> I was yeah. laughing because of the whoa, 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 that whoa, ruby was whoa, literally whoa, there whoa. to test everyone's greed. So what's the uh, knife? Mita sula solo. That just reminds me of the Family Guy thing. How come I never get any lines in these movies? Shut up, Meg. So what's the knife called? <sighs> the Blade of Madness. Well, I guess that was a crown of madness. I guess for him. Oh. oh. The, the Blade of Madness has madness attached to it. I know, right? It's a cursed weapon. Yeah, uh, cut people yeah it's a cursed hands. weapon. Now, of course, Connie's standing there just still petrified because she's been holding that knife on for dear life for at least the last year. Oh! Ah. Uh, well, an idiot. well, why would you put the weapon down? You're thinking you're being attacked 24-7? I, uh, I think someone should cut that knife uh, from her hand. Yeah. It's already been knocked out of her hand. Yeah, it's already uh, been taken, it's, yeah. It's in my, I had yeah. wrapped it up. Yeah, I Connie's like, it, oh no, like, adventurers, the monsters, they cast invisibility. <laughs> okay. Somebody needs to explain something. Um, I think I want to knock her out. What? No, yeah, seriously, you're her? just going to knock her out. I'm just going to yes. knock her out. Nah. Let's yeah, take let's her, not nah. take her to the infirmary. Let's take her to the infirmary. All strength? Okay, great, fantastic. I'm not going to use this one. Well, you're, you're going to get arrested. The, the guards are going to catch you Again. knocking this girl out. Does the knife have any special uh, attacks? Have someone? 13 no. plus... However, it could be pretty useful if you handed it to uh, someone so you didn't 15 like. 15 total? 15 total. Really? So, wait, so 15? Um, I can roll a 10, I get a plus 3 to strength, and then I get another Yeah, plus you just two. hit the poor old defenseless woman dressed like a little doll in the back of the head. And right there next to the housing blocks with about 15 witnesses. I That's use why. protection. I'm not <laughs> is she knocked out? <laughs> what? Is she knocked out? Oh, yeah, she is unconscious. Okay. okay. I, I turn to the party. crowd. Uh, any witnesses? And I say, don't worry. It's perfectly fine. She's a woman. I'd like to go into hiding. The town guard immediately starts storming in. Oh, like they're to not to me this time. Well, what made like... you think that sexism was appropriate in this town? Well, I thought that they already knew that she was crazy. Being a woman Just because someone's crazy doesn't make it okay to beat them unconscious. No, being a woman does. <laughs> I'd like to go into high What? <laughs> you hear this, folks? You hear this, folks? Okay, so I can't actually be insulted because my, <laughs> my character is a gay twink. Are you saying something? But, no. I'm Are you being sure? In our I'm real do I need fuck to take you? you? Do I need to show you what all a woman uh, can do? I like to use salt again. I'll take you back to the tavern and I'll show you what You're an ugly really fucking oh, woman. Don't Get worry. Out. Everyone saw <laughs> what they did. I and how the you three were working to help. I mean, she was annoying me. She was and such you and crazy. Just punched her. <laughs> yeah, so she's she's crazy. Everybody. So the it. town guard. Yeah, like, no, 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 no. You said for a year she's been clutching this dagger and pretty much has been going on 
on about monsters. Y'all, you said this it. Is great. So that means that they know she's this crazy. I just Nothing did everybody a favor. We got rid of oh the knife God, out of her hand, her life and life. I knocked her unconscious. Problem solved. She'll wake up and be like, "It's all a dream," and then she'll go on with the rest. Why of her life. would she think it was all a dream? <laughs> because uh. uh it says me, not today, Satan. Satan, oh, thank God, because even I can't deal with your life. Right <laughs> Alex, I'd like to use... Well, because if she doesn't accept that it's a dream, I'll just punch her again. I want to use, <laughs> I want to use <laughs> wall of hand roll, to heal her. I mean, I don't Go know back. why... I don't know <laughs> why <laughs> any of you were trying not. to hide. You didn't do it. Yeah, God, he's a homage <laughs> wabbit. Yeah, uh, uh, no, the town guard takes you into custody. Oh, gosh, I need to get this out for Charlie. For all strength. Cool. It's a cat, it says, in my defense, you left me unsupervised. Uh, fifteen again. Bardic inspiration. Oh. Nothing else. No. Bardic inspiration. Why are you giving it to You him? have been taken. Co- Bardic co- inspiration into custody by five. It does not matter. Uh, you have been with... taken into custody by five of the town guards. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, needless to say, they're like, "What the hell did you do that for?" Connie may be insane, but she definitely didn't deserve to be punched. Sure. I have my own reasons. So you had a problem hitting a pirate captain, but you don't have any problem beating up a defenseless old woman. Yeah. Yeah. Blah. Right. Dig yourself. Boy, the admiral's gonna have a field day with you. I'll talk to him. Yeah. Well, I need the fifth. <laughs> you don't even know. What's that? <laughs> they don't have five knuckle team. shuffle. Suck on these. That's the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. For charisma. Did you give him ster- uh, cocaine or some shit? Man going out. Man. <laughs> what did he roll? Get it to. <laughs> you are immediately oh, like smacked in like the, the head like with the like nearest this. blunt like object so knocked unconscious. Wow, uh, nearest blunt polar, object. It's almost like these it's cops are very low well paid. They don't have any weapons or your equipment. Well, their nearest weapon is actually a sharp object. They needed to bring you in a lot. Yeah. They could just stab me and still survive. I mean, you can get stabbed. Stabbing is not good you for can knocking stab someone, someone and keep them alive. No. Whatever. But do you the keep my yeah. back? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Noah's unconscious corpse is being taken off to the guards' barracks to cool off for the night. In the meantime, uh, Connie has been helped up off the floor, and the guards thank you for relieving her of her delusions. We didn't help her. We I used what? Ah, you think this? F- fuck you. No, thank these three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, use wall you hand. two did nothing. I got rid of I the delusions. You I got rid of the delusions. You don't see her being crazy anymore. Why? Because she's un fucking conscious. <laughs> you know what? That is a gr- I should be rewarded. Where is my blowjob? Say what? Don't worry. <laughs> There's the girl right there. You can have her. I, I do not volunteer. I do not want that ugly bitch touching me. Don't worry. Your cellmate Bubba will make sure you're well taken care of. Is he related to Suggs? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> because I know. Very well. So, so you told me you wouldn't want a cat. So, no, she's too, no, no, he's too busy that. trying to fuck an otter. You look like the crap cat that we found in an alleyway. <laughs> no, that, that's probably very <laughs> accurate. Okay, so he's been hauled off to prison for the rest of the night, so he gets to take a long rest. Lucky you. With a dick up his ass. Lucky you. No. That's really lucky. <laughs> Damn, maybe I should get arrested. Cassie, have you really ever tried to sleep You're with already something being up your ass bolded. before? It's not as easy as you'd think. I wouldn't imagine. She's already warned for sexual harassment of guards. Why did they oh, grab her too? Oh, wait a minute. Why did they grab her too? Because I didn't have fox form hiding on top of roofs. Ugh. Roll for deception. I got an 18. Okay, never mind. Don't worry. I want to ask Percy, is she okay? The guards do not notice that you are... Definitely the person they're looking for. Because you did it while you were in human form. Okay then. So, what is everyone else doing? I asked to see if she okay the rabbit punched her. Um, oh. Have you ever seen rabbits punch? They punch pretty quick. Yep. She didn't even so, know. So, uh, they say, oh, 
It looks like she's all right. She just got hit in the head pretty hard. I think she'll be okay. To be honest, she hasn't gotten much sleep in the last few weeks. Then sink me, fuckers! You're unconscious. Uh, Wait, unconscious? Yeah, he was knocked unconscious. I, I want to go to the jail for visiting hours late night. There are no visiting hours. Damn you. Yeah. So, I guess I'm going to the bar. I'll have to meet Ian so I can watch him be fucked like a little bit that he is. That's too bad. <laughs> is there an enchanter? I don't know, the roof. Similar to that nope. here? What? Is there an enchanter or anything similar to that here? Well, I'll shake you first. As a matter of fact, there just so happens to be. Shake hand doesn't do anything. Uh, so you're asking the guard this? Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the town no. guards do in fact that inform you. Well, unlike a large city like Neverwinter or Eberron's many great capitals, we unfortunately do not have anything of that in our life. Okay, I just gotta point this out because what? every time I look away from it and I look back it looks like it. I, uh, okay, at the top of the screen, it looks like a big maybe. ball sack yeah, with a wanna... penis sticking out. Uh, that? Yeah. That's no, a lighthouse. Like a bowl? Well, it looks like a, like a bowl for penis. Juice. They're literally a jetty and a path leading up to a lighthouse. It looks like a penis. Uh, Where? Well, you're out of the dirty mind. I don't see the penis. First the island's a vagina, now the lighthouse is a penis. What's a next? Penis. Wait, I'll point it out. You got a friend in me. Get him out! So this right here is the balls. It's too deep. So that's the dick, and then that's the dickhead. Oh, you see his dick hungry. Charlie, what have you been feeding her? I've been trying to give it to her last night. God damn it. I, I even called her yesterday until out. I hit every single hole there in the day with my wire, so I told her why don't I come home crazy. She knocked her out. <laughs> no, her out. <laughs> I'd like to walk around and ask people if there's anyone similar to I will not. Hey, hold on, hold on. Okay. Sorry. Anyway. Hang me some of those But he does say that. Now. Who is it? Huh? Who is it? If you are looking what? for someone who, who knows about magic and enchantments okay. and all things in that nature. Okay. There is someone you should talk to, but you should know he's going shit? to have some what trouble talking to. Him. No, dip me. I don't want to dip he you. Is ve- he's a very Sorry. important, very busy man in this town. He is literally what indispensable. He works in the library right over there, and he literally <laughs> just points <laughs> from next to the houses to that massive stone structure. <laughs> One of the only two stone structures in the city, in fact, other no. than the forge and the barracks. And, um,. With a gold capstone dome on top of it. Like it is stuff. literally the library. I'd like to go there. Okay then. So you open the door to the library, and it's really not that impressive. I've already been. There are quite a few bookshelves and everything, mostly about personal history of the area, memoirs, records navigational charts, trade routes, stuff like that. But you see, sitting back behind one of the um, bookshelves, there's someone standing back there, a very shifty looking type. His beak pokes out as he as he trades a glance with you and then slowly retracts back behind the bookshelf again. He's apparently rather shy. The guard points him out and he says, uh, that's, that's the guy you're looking for, the, the priest of the storms, Mr. Barnard. Mr. Barnard. Yeah. Right. I'd like to go over and try to talk to him. Does anyone in here know anything about Kinkus? You should no. not do that. Yeah. Please, inform us. I ain't saying anything. Okay, I'm unconscious. You ain't get okay, right? Yeah, yeah. You're not going to be able to tell him anything. He wouldn't even be able. No, to no. Do. This is what happens when you let your buddy go. I to mean, jail. Charlie ought to know, but he don't. Anyway, I, think I do. I tried to train with the Kinkus. I find that very unlikely. For one key reason, and you'll figure this out in a minute. Okay, so you go walking across the library to go talk to Barnard, who really just continues to stare at you from the corner there, like some kind of creepy hermit. Until finally you get right up to him, and what what do you say? Uh, I have a question, sir. Question, sir. They copy. 
Kinkers have no voice of their own. <laughs> Wait, what? They copy only. The Kinku oh. actually have a cursed history. When the Kinku were created by one of the gods, they were created to be a servant. Well, unfortunately, the Kinkus attempted to take power for themselves, and as punishment, the gods robbed them of their wings, their creativity, and their own voice. Mm -hmm. Kinkus literally cannot say a single word of their own thought. Can they write it? So they can't even no. it either? Can they do anything with it? No. They have no words of their own. Why is he in a library? He's in a library because he has a special power. He can provide blessings for ships that are going out to sea and ensuring that they come back alive. Does it work? Yes. Okay. He's a servant of a god, so yes. Yes, he's a he's a storm priest. It is his job. He predicts storms. He's like if the, he tells he's like them the not girl to go, from Children of the Well. If he stops them from going, they won't go. Mm, I yeah. Don't, I don't think he'll be useful for what I wanted. He says what you wanted. He can only copy like words and specific sentences from you. I pull out the blade of madness, well, the wrap up, and just show it to my host. There's a curse on this blade, and I was wondering if you could put this on my weapon. Why? Want put weapon? So if I strike some of my blade, they'll have they'll go crazy. Whoa. Only for a second. Amazing. No. They only have it for that's a second. That's only if they're holding the blade. That's what I asked him. He, I mean, he reaches his, his little oh. bird claws out and, and takes it by the cloth and starts looking at it. He, he, he stares at you. He starts shaking his head and hands it back. He, he obviously can't say anything because there's no sentence for, I'm sorry, but this curse hurts the wielder, not the people struck by it. He can't say it, obviously, but no, that's basically what it means. We're already insane. Yeah. What difference does it make? Tell the see these people. <laughs> Can those people hurt you or do they only scare you? Obviously, you're with him? No, the um, blade. Oh, no. Obviously, only scared. No, they can't hurt you. See, it's this really fucked up Lovecraftian shit. They're always one inch from killing you. So they can hurt you. They never actually get to the job, but it's just that continuous feeling of fear and you're about to be killed. It's like a snail. Hmm? You never see them coming. It's just all of a sudden, oh, fuck, snail. Yeah. What? Yeah. So, oh. yeah. I think um, that meant for grenades. So, oh. Barnard then repeats in a woman's voice, that all? <laughs> I was wondering if there was any magic books here which I could learn Which's from, learn different types of language and stuff. Well, he, so basically, Barnard scratches the, the underside of his beak for a second in thought, and then reaches his hand out and grabs you by uh, whatever shirt or clothing you have on your upper body and begins dragging you uh, through some of the uh, bookshelves and everything to a back room where there's a little sort of magical workshop where he works to make little talismans and stuff to bless ships and everything to make sure they don't instantly get smashed to pieces as soon as something goes wrong. He's very good friends with Ulrich, who works the uh, shipwright's office and um, uh, lumberyard. Um, basically, he has a few little books sitting back there, which are, of course, very little use to him. He can't cast most spells because if they have a verbal component... Wait, can't he just say it and he, then he'd copy it? Yeah, but you gotta say it in your own words. Yeah. It's a verbal component. You have to be the one saying it. Yeah. So that wouldn't work. Yeah, he can't actually cast most spells with verbal components. Like enchantments he could do, because... He can do enchantments, yeah. As long as it doesn't have a verbal enchant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, Barnard is a very important man in town. But unfortunately, he's also a very cursed man. Mm. Um, so he points you to the books. There's a couple books... Some on um, the language of elementals. There is a uh, 
a spell book. It is actually very useful, though very few people around here have made use of it. It is called Ice Platform. You go walk on the ice. Yeah, out. pretty much it is a spell that, if you're reading this right, will allow you to create a platform of ice either floating in the air or on the water. The platform cannot be moved, of course, but you can, make but you can stand on it and cast more. However, there should be something that should be noted. If you use the spell again, the current platform falls apart. So it's better. So it's better to jump mid air and land, about to land, sort of, than summon up. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just that like, would be the thought. But that's gonna be but terrible if we're all doing that together. Yeah. Stars gonna no mess up. up. If you miss the spell, the I'm guy with one leg gone. You gotta maybe he's gonna spell mess that up. And now Barnard's just sort of staring at you while you're sitting this there frozen, looking at these books. It can swim. He's a very I'm creepy sorry. guy, given he can't say it. Easy fix. May I take these books so I can learn? Don't want my head. Uh, he shakes his head. No, you, you can't take them. You can read them here, but you certainly can't take well, them. I'll start reading them then. Okay. Then. <laughs> so that'll, Double tap. That'll take you How about you two or three tap? hours no. at least. I'll sit there. Okay. I need oh. an extra tap. Dang. But also, like, so, uh, what are the rest of y'all so doing here? Big. Big. Okay, what are you doing? I my hands are so big. I ask, hey, I ask I'll around that anyone it, here that gives me itself a greater restoration. I actually get like a good greater spot. restoration. Mm -hmm. So I can be like, well, and then just this go. is technically the. Oh, here, let me move back to the. Uh, oh, that man just touched my. The oh, other oh. scene, man. No, I hit my. Yeah. There you go. So they no, basically say, wrong, look, this, this is, is the magical over. capital oh. of our little area here, but oh. as far as healing would go. She's going as good as I was hoping. Really? There isn't a whole lot. I feel like heated up a little bit. There's only one place we know of earlier. that knows any healing magic. Well, it's already so cold. There's not anyone? There's really not anywhere you can go to get healed except for one place. Where? The bar. Long. They're very good with pain relief. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the bar. Right. Greta, with the gigantic boobs, is still sitting there like, Oh, you again? I thought we dealt with you last time. I want to learn Where's your boyfriend? Magic. I won't learn healing magic. Because More Lily healing said, magic. Please, and Lily said it in the proper sentence format. Remember, she is a eight-foot-tall orc. She is literally staring down at you like she could step on. I could crawl in you and do all kinds of wonderful things for you if you just help teach me. Well, she throws you out of the bar. Yeah. <laughs> You're not me. See this. I'll go get the oh, bunny. Noah. Yep. It's been like two or three hours. You're awake. Okay. Yeah. He's I, I, yell back, I yell back at her. I'll go get the bunny for you. One of the guards comes walking up to the bar and said, Connie's not looking so great. Who? Uh, Connie is not looking so great. I hope you have a good lawyer. Preferably one from Neverwinter. I will be happy to represent you. No! No! No, no, no. Don't do this. You said that the Fifth does not exist. The Fifth Amendment. None of these amendments. Where the fuck do I need a lawyer? He's got a point. The Fifth Amendment. Well, I better hold Saul. No, no. The Fifth Amendment is something that was only very recently created. No. Yes, it was. No, I mean on a grand time scale, only very recently. These people do not have what you would call a Bill of Rights here. They never needed one. Mainly because conditions were so hard that rights were pretty much a useless concept to them. When the Fifth Amendment be like, what, 200 years old now? Yeah, about that. Um, 1791. Almost 200 years. Yeah. They don't, Actually, have, oh, they don't have a Fifth really? Amendment here. Huh? Their court system is literally, uh, you do what the admiral says, and the admiral is a fair man. Yeah, but then you don't yeah, have a monarchy, lawyer. meaning your lawyer won't Not matter. really even a monarchy. The admiral the is literally a military guy. Yeah, well, no, then the point of a lawyer is, like... The lawyer is to protect you in the court of law. They just don't have anything protecting you from self-incrimination. But there's not a court of law with the dictator. Right! The judge is the admiral. That's exactly. He's probably already decided. And the admiral makes the decision. There is no Remember how he already looked aside for previous crimes? Oh, yeah. Sure. 
know. What fucking previous crime? I'm oh, sorry, I don't know. Aiding a pirate? Uh, oh. that was never proven. <laughs> I think that was proven. You have no evidence on that. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know. The two dead guards she killed on the way out would have some pretty good evidence. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're dead. dead. They don't talk. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dead Guy, what do you have to say? Noah? Uh, Noah? 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 What? Can I get a carrot? Do you remember the necromancers or a thing? Yeah, but uh, oh yeah, oh uh, let's just consult the town necromancer. Hey Bob, do you think you can raise these two back up real quick? No. Yeah, yeah, easy. No, but, they don't have anyone like that. Exactly, they're, 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 they're so fucking point of getting the dead people. I'll so they were going them. to call someone back from the mainland for this sort of thing, but remember, nobody can get in. Exactly. So, so now oh, the judge. Oh, oh, I'm about to have a seizure. Let's move on, let's please. The judge is going to have to make some quick Can decisions. I get a carrot? Oh, yeah. I think I might have froze these before I got them. Though. Uh, thank you. They're kind of mushy. Anyway, so, after a little bit of time, the admiral decides, okay, look, I'm willing to overlook this indiscretion again because I understand how Connie he was. Please. Do not go around beating up innocent citizens again without good cause, or we will seriously not be able to let you go. It was one less citizen, but okay. And she kind of deserved it, though. How? She, she was a poor crazy. old woman that was crazy because she just, was being given just, a magical artifact. He just did it to help her out, dude. She thought she thought Words could have done the same job. So I'm no, gonna say what she said. crazy person. Crazy. Let's arrest her, too. Technically, I followed her to eat the vigilante act. By the way, are you still a dog? Or a yeah, fox? Yeah, I'm still a fox. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> when can foxes talk? Is she talking? It was more like I was just talking in real life, but still. Okay, well. Okay, so. I call my lawyer Saul Goodman. Who? There is no Saul Goodman in the village. Oh. If you know him from your homeland, he wouldn't be able to get in through the ice wall, remember? Yeah. All right, so, um, okay, so you have been released back out onto the street. So you're right here in front of the barracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, bam, what are you doing? Well, here's a thought. Just, just a little thought. Since you still have about another 18 hours to kill before your sword's ready... How did he get the sword the that you, by the way, are not trained to use because it's a martial weapon, He's and you are an artificer. Artificer. Doesn't really matter. He's sword's already got being all that built for the elephant. What? The sword's being built for the elephant. You need a sword, not a leg. <sighs> oh, interesting. Interesting. I'm so, going to call it foot question mark. So, you're going to give him the sword. For me. You're going to give him the ten foot martial weapon. That he is proficient in, by the way. You don't see anything wrong with that. And he's gonna name it Leg. Right. Well, you're gonna find out something really funny about that. Okay. Anyway, so what else are you doing? I mean, the old man is still hard at work hammering away at the forge. I mean what 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 you got going on there? Take up some refreshments. I mean, what are you doing? I'm heading out. I'm gonna head to the barracks and sleep. If you're you're gonna head to the guards barracks and just Not walk barracks. on in and try and Not sleep. Barracks. I mean, what's it called? Bar? Tavern. Tavern. Uh, you yeah. mean the bunkhouse? Yeah. The bunkhouse. Where? Which is right next to the barracks, right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what so about. yeah, you walk in. There's someone sitting behind the counter. They say, uh, "Hey, uh, you need to run a room or what?" I say yes. Okay. That's the uh, prices. That'll be 20 gold for the night. I give him 20 gold. Okay. I, give him, I give him 60 and I sleep the whole time. So you're going to sleep for three days? Yeah. Or <laughs> take the 60 gold? Okay, no, well, so. take 30 damage. <laughs> you're starving now. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't looping, by the way. You just slept for three days. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah you slept. Yeah. I thought that meant day, night, day. No. no. Oh. 
You just want to see. You get promotion. three days worth of sl- uh, three days. <laughs> you paid sixty. It's twenty dollars <laughs> for every twenty four hours. I thought it meant like a day, no, night, day. No, it's twenty four. Well, hours. then just one day. Okay, one day. then you're just giving her twenty gold. Okay. Okay then. What are you doing? I went to the lumber yard to help out. Oh. See if they might need help there. Yeah, they need help from a one leg and no dick elephant. I mean, what else is he gonna do? Go get laid? Well. If we just start to fall them out. Well, well, you and Ulrich are gonna gonna be hauling some logs. He's like, well, we don't normally get people helping out here. Normally, we only got a few of the sailors who are strong enough to drag in the trees. So, I'll give me a strength check. How much is your strength, though, Josh? Nine. It'll be at 10 now. With mm. 9 plus mm. 1, you that'll be 10. Mm. You barely are able to move the log. A cat has more strength than an elephant. <clears throat> Charlie, a cat has more strength than an elephant. How, how does that sound? Strength proportional to size. Mm. You're small. I'm small. <clears throat> Ulrich just drags the whole tree with one hand. He's not even moving. He's just pushing it a little bit with his hand. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you might want to get a little stronger before you decide to come over here and try and take my job. You lift weights or something? No. And he hoists his axe over his shoulder. This thing's a lot heavier than it looks. I see it was made out of steel. Yes. Made of Please. solar steel from the center of the sun. No, it's oh. just a lot heavier than it looks. So it always no one's taking that from him. Well, I, if it's that heavy, he's able to cut that. I asked him, is there any place, place that off? needs my help on town? What are you trying to do? Hey, make mm. it for your Well, that depends on what kind of help you're willing to offer these people, son. Definitely not a sex worker. Don't got no dick for that. I mean, he, he does Get out of the bar because I was just going to say that's what I was doing. Maybe you should go <sighs> talk to the harbor master. Okay, will he be he at? He drops his pants and there's roast beef. <laughs> anyway. No, no, no. Don't you know how, like, whenever you spiral, like, the potato and they put it on, like, the stick and it's, like, spiraled? Whenever he pulls on his pants, it just... <laughs> CBT porn. I'm too afraid to check it. God. I might find worse. <laughs> yeah, How is that worse? <laughs> I might find worse. Yeah, I might gay find... as well. Here, well, Matthew. Here, Matthew, Matthew. Would you like some of Josh's stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's not curly enough. <laughs> I asked where is the harbor master. The harbor ma- Oh, you want some? Yeah, sure. Yeah, here. Yeah. The harbor, where else? Yeah. Yeah, but specific um, location. Anyway, like, oh, there, oh, there anyway the um, so he points to the harbor master's office because, you know, y'all were just in there a little while ago. But you didn't get to see it, of course, because you were arrested. Yeah, that's and, why I asked him. And we know why. For trying to beat up a man in a wheelchair. I just woke down. <laughs> yeah, that's more incriminating than hitting an old woman. Yeah. She can I hit him. I just looked at him. So I still got locked up. So man. you're going to the harbor master's office, right? Yeah. Well, so since you haven't met him before, let me just pull up the picture. Yeah, because we kicked Josh out of the room last time we went yeah. there. Anyway, that's Admiral Harpoon and all that. So uh, his assistant, uh, so you walk in and the assistant is like, hello, yes, can I help you? Uh, I want to see if there's anything around her that I could do. He's looking for a new dick. I can just bank a So where are you during all this? 
I'm working on the streets, duh. He's a, she's still a fox. She didn't How are you back. working? Let, let's You're just say she's in prison. I turned back. You were immediately arrested. No, because I turned back on the roof, but... Huh. You they were saw immediately you. arrested by flying guards. <laughs> okay, I get some in jail. So <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... I just want to make some coin, get some dick. Good lord. Okay, so now... Uh, the assistant looks a little nervous when you say that. And she's like, and who sent you? The guy outside? His name was Ulrich. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ulrich. I'm Ulrich. bad with names. Ulrich sent you? Yeah. He said, you all know something about a job that I can do. Could have a job I can do. Okay, look. Um, the harbor master will speak to you. Okay. So, she lets him in. I know his boyfriend know that you just did that to him. <gasps> Stop taking that. Anyway, she lets him in and everything. The harbor oh. master is sitting behind his desk. And... He says, so, Ulrich sent you about doing a job for us. Yes, sir. Well, I suppose a violent criminal like you could be useful in this particular case. We're trying He's to keep this on... Criminal? Well, yeah, he was going to beat up an old, uh, an old I man in a wheelchair. I just looked at him. Come on, man. Yeah. Um, anyway... So, he says, so, we're trying to keep this hush-hush, so it needs to stay a secret from everyone but whoever you're running with here. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. So, by the way, you're alone. No one else followed you here. Yeah. The only person who might even be here is him, because he just got out. Yeah. I don't associate with that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Now, Makes um, sense. he says this. The past few weeks, our lighthouse keeper, Dougie, hasn't really been seen oh, out of Dougie. the lighthouse. And the problem is, the lighthouse hasn't been getting lit. Do you uh, carry some Bro, I feel the same way. And anyone, and the people we've <laughs> been sending too. out to give out <laughs> whale oil to Dougie to be able to keep the lamp lit, haven't been coming back. Only the little dinghies have been washing up at dock. <laughs> what? Is it my weird that's washing back? Because <laughs> I did that. Wait, what? Oh, I, I agree. It's very nah, hard nah. to notice a little dinghy. You know, it's very... You know, sometimes they like to stay afloat, but other times they like I to mean, sink I mean, what? Would you things. prefer I call it a rowboat, which it's not? Yeah, well... It's the proper better word than... is dinghy. <laughs> it's better to say... What it is not. It's a dicky. To say what it is. I ask him, is there any way that I could get back there and back? <laughs> well, the thing is, we're kind of worried about what <laughs> happened to Doug. <laughs> we're kind of worried because the last time we saw him, he was looking kind of sick. Okay, okay. Was he in a little I tell him I could, I have no, healing magic. He wouldn't step out the doorway. He wouldn't step out the door of the lighthouse. I'm just thinking I thought the lighthouse already looked like a thing. <clears throat> oh, yeah, my five C is a turtle. Yeah, so. So, I suppose we could put you and your little friends to work going and seeing where Dougie is. But, you're going to have to make me a promise here. You do not kill Dougie, bring him back alive. I only need one person who would come. If he's okay, then... I want you to come now. If he's okay and nothing's wrong, that's all well and good. Come back, we'll pay you for it. But if there is something wrong and Dougie's gone missing, you're all going to have to figure out what happened to Dougie. He did the Dougie. Uh, I'll say, I'll, I'll take it and I'll go while the person, a few members of my people will go there. Okay then, so... So you're basically going to go tell everybody what's going on. Since you've just been released. Oh, with, a, released? with a magical restraining order keeping you away from people's bunkhouses, houses, and the guards' barracks. Because fuck damn it, child. But I wasn't doing nothing in their barracks. I did it at the back door. 
there. What about their butts? I was nowhere near a bunkhouse. She wasn't going for the butts. We know she wasn't going for the butts. No, I was just showing them my butt. Onyx was not going for the butts. Okay. Now, so, uh, well, you might as well tell him since. Well, this man's a sweep. And I'm learning. Oh, yeah, you just woke up. Um, Your sword's ready, by the way. I'm learning. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll guard them all. You've already read for two or three hours. You got, uh, you got, yeah, you got the knowledge to create ice platform. I go to collect the sword. What, ain't, didn't what I, are you doing? What now? level spell is that? Uh, I would say it's just a cantrip. Okay. It, it's a resource spell. It's what about the elemental talk language? Uh, oh yeah, you can speak Oran now. Oran. O R I. A U R A N. Oran. A. The language of the elementals. A. Yeah. A U R A N. Oran. You know, it's the language of fire elementals, water elementals, earth elementals, wind elementals. Earth yeah, elementals, yeah, yeah. cantrip, yeah. ice platform. Anyway. Uh, so. It's scary if you're taking a piss and then all of a sudden it like forms into a person. And it's just like, ah! Water elementals hey, can control any know, kind of water. You like that shit, dude. Even your blood. <laughs> Maybe. Finally, after years of training, I'm able to make my piss to my girlfriend. Okay, then, so. <laughs> Good job. So, so uh, hit the since woman. you've all been freed or removed from your set areas, are you going to be telling them anything? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, Perry I keep getting and did. everywhere. Okay, God, what's up? Perry does this a sick old man by the White House. Oh, that people go and miss and go in there. So he's supposed to grab him. If he's not there, we're supposed to find what happens to him. If he's there, we do not kill him. We bring him back after you don't healing him. You don't heal him? Okay. Yeah. Well, after, after, I said after healing him. You, you said we don't heal him. So yeah. I said after him healing him. That is not what you said. Not what you said. I'll say okay then. So the party has been told that there's a sick old man at the lighthouse and that people have been going missing. And that perhaps you should all go kill him. No. Yeah. The truck is causing a lisp. I mean, <laughs> woo. No. I mean, I he naturally you. speaks oo-woo, so it's really hard to hear him. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm going to take that as he spoke it. Yeah. Sounds like kill. I so. said heal him. What? Okay. It's, 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 it's Noah's girlfriend. I said heal him. Anyway, so, yeah, so you've all been informed, uh, so you are going to head off to the jetty to see if you can row across so the we're harbor? Not, we're, we're not riding the dinghy? I'll just get on my turtle. Well, the jetty is the little dock that goes out to it. But yeah, you'd be riding on a dinghy. I'll just use my ice platform. A jetty, a dinghy. I'll just make my turtle so go. I'll call dinghy and get go the to... joke over with. No. I go to collect the sword first before going. Okay, so you go and collect a 10-foot, 500-pound mm -hmm. piece of metal. And you then proceed to go to a tiny little wooden boat with two row handles. Can know. anyone else tell me what the problem's going to be here? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not a part of them. I'm just using ice platforms to get there. All the way there. Yep. Can I'm my tile swim? I'm not going to survive without you. Oh, okay. You. So, it's going to take you at least 60 casts. At well, least 60 casts to get across the water. So, here's what you're going to be doing to see if you manage to make it across the freezing cold, creature-infested ocean ah. on ice platforms. All right, so, here's what you're going to do. You're going to first give me a dex save to see if you can jump. Oh, I definitely got dex save. I need to jump! Boom! Matt, hey, well, it's a one. I'm going to give you dex save. Roll the nap, Phil. Six plus... Uh, four, okay then. Now you're going to give me an arcana check to see if you manage to cast midair. Uh, Doesn't matter. Just just roll. Roll for cast. Thirteen plus four. Okay. You cast and you land and you thankfully don't slip right off the slippery ice onto your ass or into the water. Okay, so you're gonna try and do it again, huh? Because that platform ain't moving. It's just sitting there bobbing in the waves, and now you're off balance, too. So, what you're going to do next? Oh, you, you can. 
But guess what? You have to jump and cast at the same time. So you going to jump again or what? No, I just jump on the ship and say, if this is going down, I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... Can my turtle swim? My summon steed. No. Well, does the steed spell say that it can swim? No. It can't no. I don't think... I don't yeah. think it can do any kind of steps like that. Yeah. Oh, so I guess it's really up to the person. Let me see the description. Okay. Mm. War horse. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna shut this up your pee hole. <laughs> That's completely out of nowhere. It does yeah, not I, say I it can look. swim. Therefore, I'm going to tell you no. Dang it. Even if I turn to a sea turtle. He attempts to does it and he drowns. <laughs> and nobody saves him. Yeah. Oh, we, all, we all have a big celebration afterwards. Okay then, so. I found the quest, come on. I didn't ask. So. Basically, Ulrich wasn't able to make this little trip because he's too big to get on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's too big to get on the boat. That's why. Man, it's not often that you can't see anybody fit in a little dinghy. Yeah, I need to fit. Come on. Ulrich can't fit. You have no dinghy. I'm just floating, just grabbing well, the back of it. Well, it's, considering it's that these two just got in the dinghy, Let's see okay. what happens when you try and get on. Why is this so fucking funny? Oh, it's only ever... a two-man? No, it's it's only a two-man little the rowboat. They only ever take one person. Nope, dingy. And... <laughs> Not two-man rowboat. Okay, dingy. fine. Dingy, then. Dingy. Okay, fine. So, you. two people just got in the, in the little dingy. <laughs> so, please, tell me. How many dingies are there? The one. We're leaving. <laughs> only fit two yep, people on a dingy. It only takes so two So, you two are going to take on this quest alone. I hey, everybody else, it's it's up on our ship. Everybody else, it's up on our ship and let their little dinghy fly in while we get on the ship and go. Well, I'll show you where you are. You're right here at the end of the dock in the little tiny rowboat. Think you can see it. Sorry. Little dinghy. Fine. Don't talk about when you're right now. Now, you're supposed to row across this open water filled with God knows what. And get to the lighthouse. Okay, can we just feed on one of the cats? We have two. How about we get on our ship that we have? We have an entire ship that got repaired. Why don't we just use that thing? So you're going to try and dingy your way out to the ship. <laughs> no, I walk to the ship. It's offshore. Uh, that's not your ship. That's the one else's ship. Yeah. How close is our ship? It's not far. You can reach it pretty easy. Okay. Hey, one y'all go, two y'all go, one jump off and off and pull. No. And so you're telling him to go get the ship. Yes. Okay. Because then. It's, so, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now I can sent two men to crew a five person ship, so that's going to be real good. It's actually three men. Three men. The, uh. Fuck you, Noah. We actually have three men. How? The guy that's supposed to be driving. The guy supposed to be driving there too. Oh! So it's a three-man. Two-person dinghy. Isn't there another person on it? Um, yeah, yeah. The guy that ain't here. A two-person oh, dinghy oh, going to a five-person ship. He was confiscated, remember? <laughs> well, actually, Stumpy and Jeff's character are both on the ship. I suppose we can use them as NPCs for right now. Yeah. So, you got two people to help you prepare the ship and bring it around to pick up the rest of the crew. Though it does seem rather a waste to bring a ship that big in just to sail about what amounts to be half a mile. Anyone <laughs> near us waiting on the dock? Anyone else? Matter of fact, there are. How many? About ten. How many? How One many? of them's in a diving suit. <laughs> I want to first cast invisibility on myself. Roll. 
since I gotta wait. Um, I got twelve. Well, twelve. I don't think that's gonna be enough for him to melt. All right. Well, I'll still try this. I'm gonna have who who who's not in the boat. Me. Me. I never. I agreed to this. I got behind Josh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast Crown of Madness on a random NPC. Doesn't matter who. Just someone. First, roll me a number of one through six. Really? Yeah, roll me a six out of it. could be one of us through six. <laughs> Cast it on Ulrich. Okay. Ain't that the big dude? I rolled a 17 plus 4. Pro <laughs> <laughs> oh, man is by the way. You gotta fight! <laughs> no! Oh, it's gonna F me up! No, no, no. no, no, no. You don't understand. No, no. Crown of Madness. Keep so this! A iron barbed crown on his head. Just, appear, just appears on his head. And he's charmed. He now must do what I say and he must use his action before he can move. He is charmed by us. So technically and he I can renew the spell. Isn't there spell a block. saving throw for that spell? Yes. No. Yes, I think keep so. It. No. Let me check. No, I think that there was a hand right. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Trust me, humanoid must succeed. Yeah, wisdom sorry, saving sorry. Uh, or be yeah, charmed. Wisdom save. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah. He probably has max wisdom. That's kind of why I was hiding behind mm. him so he doesn't know who did it. Because you, I don't have to have a direct line of sight at all or anything at all. It's just a person with an 120 feet. 17 good enough? Yes. <laughs> I, I would assume so. What? I would assume it is. Yeah. Okay, then. So, uh, Ulrich is now pissed because his head hurts. And he whips around. And now, who are you hiding behind again? Him, but he can't tell who did it because it, I don't have to have line of sight or any kind of physical yeah. content. I could literally just... Like, he turned around and said, head. who did this? Why is this thing so painful? He says, dropping the crown of the... Wait a minute. It actually makes a physical crown. It disappears if the spell breaks. Oh, damn. So no. it's, it's physically, it will I mean, I, I just saw it for a second. Wow, that would be extremely easy to exploit, wouldn't it? That's kind of the point of why I wanted to try it. No, I mean, I'm... extremely easy to exploit. You cast the crown of madness and then immediately drop Charlie. the crown. Yeah, that's what do you mean? Get one. You, you, you can't take it off. If they fail their check, they're and under it, my control. Like, before, almost like before, a before you sit there, can I have a dark pepper coat, please? I'll give you a hey, that's mine, Jacob's only. Well, you ain't taking it. I don't want you I to offered it yesterday. Don't whip out your little dinghy. <laughs> Bam, put your dinghy up. Hey, uh, what? Can you have a cookie? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, you can have another. I, I'm yeah. just, like, really hungry all of a sudden. Well, I mean, hey, that's what D&D does to you. You know, we're sitting around, we're doing a lot of talking. A little snack ain't gonna kill you. Mm. All right, which one do I shake? Both of them. None of them. The one that you're gonna give me. Yes. Dolly. Even the dogs. Yes. Wait, what? So. Oh, that one. This one? Yeah. So, Damn, Ulrich's pissed. He's looking around thinking, who the fuck did this? The left one. You. It was him. You're literally telling him? Was, How do you know? I'm pointing at the, at the lion statue. That, that, that's my staff, and no, it's not a statue. Hey! What? What's going on? I tried to cast a lot of um, crown of madness. Are you trying to, who are you trying to hypnotize her? No one, just anyone. Oh, wait, oh, 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 I heard what you just Aren't said. Aren't we supposed to be saying some old man? From <laughs> yeah. I point out a random pedestrian and say it was him. Steve, why are you casting magic? I didn't even think you could cast. Huh? Mm, yeah, no, Steve. Steve Steve is very uh, confused and upset by all of this. You are all very close to getting arrested He's again. <laughs> He's in I'm pit. just a street performer. The only thing I can do is bandage you up if you get stabbed. He Steve, performs Steve. a lot of acts in the street, Steve. doesn't he? Steve, oh, no. is a, Steve is a young kink you, and all it learned how to say was fuck off. And then it just so like, Steve, why are you casting magic? Matthew. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> That's canon. Steve is a kink you. <laughs> anyway, at least he's, he's not a kinky dude. <laughs> okay, don't be doing it. What? Seriously, first, like, first five minutes of the campaign last time, you're Kanye. Mm -hmm. And now you're talking about Jews again. What is this, Noah? No comment. No comment. <laughs> that, that's the only correct response. Okay? Now, 
As for the rest of you, so the idiot duo have managed to bring the ship around, and you've all come to the end of the jetty. Man, if we have the ship, we want to come back. Good leave. You can't, dumbass. Yeah, you can't leave the archipelago. There's literally a wall of uh, frozen, icy storms around the edge. I mean, you can travel to all the islands, but this is the only city. Our, me and Rob have gotten a deep hate for him because he's forcing us to do work. You mean work that he told you you would be paid for? No, he, we, he ain't paying us to move mm-hmm. alone. Oh, we're not, we have no problem with the... Who's the guy that gave us the job? The uh, harbor master? Yeah, we have no problem with him. The we guy who gave you your ship's charter? Yeah, we have no problem with him. We just have a problem with that and stupid elephant. And made you a privateer? Yeah, we just have a problem with that stupid elephant. Interesting. So, what are you all going to be doing now that the ship's pulled up? I'm going to get, get on, on the ship quick. Yeah, okay, you getting on too? Yeah. I will play Are you going to be sitting here whoring around with the, with the orc bartender and the old lady and the guards and... <laughs> I'm the one that does the car. And the guy in the diving suit, you know. But I got on the ship. I'm just, I got on the ship. I'm just, what you doing, Noah? What you doing, Buster? I want to do uh, a, uh, like a side mission or a quest. I want to get that. Uh, I want to help that old man. Okay, then. Well, you get on board the ship, yep, and, the y'all, ship. and y'all all are setting out to uh, the lighthouse. So you pull up, and already you notice something's terribly, terribly wrong. None of you are very good at parking, but thankfully you've avoided crashing headfirst into the glacier that this thing is built on. Well, damn it. I used the tech evil and good. Uh, roll. I used the tech magic so bad. 13 plus 4, so 4, 5, 17. 18. 17, like 4, 5, 6, 7. 17, yeah. You detect a fucking huge amount of evil. I'd like to look around inside the lighthouse. Uh, we detect a massive amount of evil in the lighthouse. Uh, Leroy Jenkins. Can I roll my rod oh, barrel in there? Hey, I think You're just gonna roll a rod barrel that, into the lighthouse. And then cast. No, you, you cannot, already baby. blow it up <laughs> once. You cannot. You cannot. Nice try. Take demand. that rod barrel out Wait, of your I'm inventory. Already blown it up. You already blew it up when you faced the winter well, wolf. There's evil inside the lighthouse. Yeah. Oh, the racist. Dang it, I forgot. Send in fact. Uh-huh, back. yeah. Okay, then. I got, so. I got, I got Ghostbusters on Okay, the so top you've all pulled up. You're sitting on the dock. There's a long, <laughs> stony <laughs> path leading up the, the glacier. The fuck? That's push the, the button. <laughs> anyway. I didn't push the button. Oh. What the fuck? You push the button to turn it off. Oh, oh. so on. that's Cassie's oh. dildo. No, yeah, that's Elizabeth Ford. Do you tell it's everybody... Oh, right, the one that she broke over his head! Yeah! <laughs> Do you tell us that you detect a lot of evil? I detect a f ton of evil in that building, boys. Let's I go get use, that. I want to use motivational speech. Motiv. Motiv- roll. What? Roll. Roll for performance or whatever. Why? It's called. I mean, it's technically a spell. What are you trying? You can achieve you can everything now that you're dead. I you rolled an eight plus a four. Because gays are magical. Oh. No. It's okay to come on, Klaus. Okay, so... I guess my speech is so bad, y'all so, lose me. So, yeah, you, you've told everybody uh, that there is something evil inside the inside this I'm unlit light. I'm to I have to win the light, too. Okay, yeah, guys, go on. That was sexy, right? Okay, so, he's told everybody here that there is something evil in the lighthouse, and obviously there's some weird things about the dock. I just got to so, point this out real fast. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask that. I'm not going to do it, that it, joke. It's kind of fucked up when the only one taking any of this shit seriously is Joshua. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying. I, I mean, you're all on your cell phones. I'm no, trying. I, I was trying to get everybody to give everybody an extra health point. It's like I use something and then it's like, okay, we're good now. And then we go right back to somebody else and I'm just like, I still have stuff to do. No, this is literally the best situation you could possibly ask for. You wanted to go help an old man. Now you're here and you found out something's wrong, though. I know. I said I go in, but you didn't listen earlier. Okay, you're going in. You're going in. Okay. Hey, hey, everyone, shut the fuck up. You too. Put your hand down. One person at a time. Now. Noah, you enter the lighthouse. It is uh, the door is hanging wide open. It's not broken in though. It's not broken in. No, the door has not. Put your hand down. 
The door has not been broken in. You go in, it is pitch black in there. There are torches along the walls that have clearly burnt down to cinders. You see little ash piles on the floor. There's a living area, and it looks almost deserted. It's dusty. It's covered in cobwebs. There's, uh, there's rotting food laying around on the table. There doesn't seem to be any signs of life in the room, but there are three dead bodies laying on the floor with a massive pool of blood around them. What do you see, Buster? Covered in scars and a blood trail leading up to a bookshelf. <laughs> I'd like to go and check on the bodies. They are dead. <laughs> I like very, the description. Very dead. dead. Drained of blood, to be truthful. Is that is that a description per body? They're dead. All They're of very, them. Very, very dead. They're drained of blood. Yeah, so pretty much. Each body has a different description. Like yeah, it. yeah. They're they're lying there with a panicked expression. Oh, and I would be very careful with lighting any torches in the room. I had no um, because the floor is coated in whale oil. Ooh. You said uh, apparently in whatever killed those three. They were carrying a few containers of whale oil to keep the lantern lit. You said that the blood was leading to a, uh... There was a trail of blood leading to a bookshelf. I'd like to go, uh, check... Look at the game. bookshelf and check it out. Yeah, okay, so roll some bookshelf. investigation here. Let's see what you got. Hey, Josh did want to do something 14 as well, so. investigation. Do I have that? Okay, I have a plus eight. Okay, so... You discover that there is some air moving back from behind the bookshelf. Okay, you can feel airflow coming through. So, what are you doing? I want to detect poison and disease. You find nothing. Do keep in mind, keep track of the spells you're casting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, ma'am, what are you doing? Uh, checking their bodies if they have any loot on them. It was a can trip. You don't have to with can trips. Well, yes. unless you count There's shards of broken uh, one glass one fail with. Okay. and a general yeah, stickiness from whale too. oil, no. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, Casey. Onyx, what you doing? Uh, that wouldn't want it. Um, uh, what is Onyx doing here? I am walking around and looking... I'm I'm in fox form, smelling to see if I can pick up any scent. You smell the scent of rot and decay coming from behind the bookshelf. <laughs> I follow the scent. Okay, well, with the blood the bookshelf. He ain't oh, opened the, the bookshelf yet. Uh, yeah. Like what are you doing? I'm gonna pull every book off the bookshelf. Actually. Okay, fine. You you just start ham fistedly. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> You're like replicating Scooby Doo! You're Everybody. replicating Velma and Fred exactly. from Scooby Doo! Yeah. Duck and wave! Duck and wave, people! <laughs> yeah, okay. Why is this here? Get rid of all this bullshit. Yeah, paper then all of a sudden the bookshelf just falls forward and crushes you. <laughs> Take Damn. five damage! Damn it! <laughs> I like, well, so it's down now, right? I like to investigate what's behind it. Uh, well, I also it's a tavern. Vision. It's literally. You can see. Frozen icy stalagmites hanging down from the ceiling because this is built into the glacier. And you can see steps cut with fingernails deep into the ice. Are we all seeing this or only him? Well, he's walked in. The rest of you are too busy fucking around elsewhere. Guys, I guess except I'm on her. her shelf. Except for Onyx, who's going, uh, who's going down there too. I screamed back, guys, y'all need to come look at this. Yeah. You should see this. Yeah, so what hey okay, you first. What? Yeah, by the way, it should be noted that the cavern is just big enough for each of you to fit down hey, a single us, file. Is there a new image for us, by the way? No. Okay. Not yet. 
<laughs> so we're going down there single file. All right, I Big. will take middle of the party. I'll take Big. first because I have the most armor. Mm -hmm. Big elephant and then the artificer. Because I have, I have, I have 22 I'll armor. Last. Okay, you'll be last. Hey, the artificer okay. give the elephant the sword yet? Scared bunny, yeah. huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, I said that, I don't no, think. because I know that if big badass over here gets stuck in that hallway, I can just turn around and leave. Yeah, point. <laughs> I don't think you're going to That's leave. why he's first. Okay, then, so. Look. So you do know he gave him the sword already, right? Yeah, okay. you gave him What's the 10-foot sword, What's yeah. The, What's the Okay, so I'm you hand him foot. the sword, right? Yeah, he needs another I'll call it Okay, sword. give me a d20. Uh, nine. Plus. Your wooden leg collapses under the weight of the sword, and you go falling down the stairs. I got it! I got it! I got it! My leg got break. I feel like <laughs> you just, just, like I just stick. picture the Family Guy gag. Oh, oh, Fuck shit! Yeah. shit. Oh. Oh. God damn it! God. Oh, no, 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 but no, it gets no, better. No, no. no the one when he hits the bottom the step. Oh, he got my God! <laughs> oh, it gets better when he hits the bottom step. The ten-foot sword goes sailing through the air Aww. and cleaves his other leg off! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now he's got no legs or penis! No legs no penis! I don't know. I lose my other leg. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'll be merciful. He no! Have, he oh, the the sword just gets bent. Dang, <laughs> <laughs> Well, how are they getting him out of here? He rolled a nine, not in that one. I mean, like, falling down his terrace is funny enough. You don't have to... Well, the thing is, he is a large animal already. With a, with a flimsy leg. wooden peg leg. Which is... Carrying a multi-hundred pound piece of metal in one hand while he's also wearing his own armor... And carrying everything that he owns. So I don't own much. Up two tons, brother. I own that much. Yeah. Though. He Before. fell down because he decided to pick up something heavy. Isn't the sword strong enough? Hey, that weight doesn't matter. Well, this game. Isn't the sword strong enough? It to doesn't bend. normally. Okay. Well, exactly. It doesn't exactly. normally, but, but when it DM smashes straight up against a gigantic hunk of ice on the way down. Yeah. So the sword is somewhat damaged now. It can still be used, just not as well. And we all just walk by and laughing around. However, however um, when you get out into the main area of the cave, you realize it is pitch black. Hold on, Josh. Now, now, it is pitch black and silent as the grave down here. The faint okay. sound of dripping water echoes through oh, the wait, eerie wait, space. Wait, okay. run it all. Mm. Yeah, echoes through the eerie space. Nobody can see I... anything in here. The darkness almost... Don't do anything yet. The darkness seems almost unnatural. Gosh darn it. And those of you who can smell quite well, smell the scent of iron. Liar? Iron. iron. Smell of blood. Uh. Are we allowed to produce flame now since we're not up top? Yes. You are I safe. produce a flame. It's a Kitsune Arcana. Go ahead. And it's a Roll to cast. Flame. flame is blue. Roll to cast. I trip. knew my life was going to blue. 17. Okay, you succeeded. The flame I mean, illuminates the room as you see knows, a maybe. massive pile of dead bodies all over the ice. Hell yeah! And then you hear something. Oh, the sound of crunching. Oh no! And viscera. Okay, I have another thing I can do. I can produce a silent image, so I can produce. Wait, can it see through it? Look, it's not going and to do you any it, good. I'm just going to save. I can make it where it wouldn't even like be able to see us. It, it's too late. He knew you were in here the moment you walked into the room. He he, he knew just listened to an elephant he fall down the stairs and break his sword. Yeah, but I might have been uh, able to hide some of them. Might have been able to hide. Oh hey, I did break it. I anyway, did. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, well, you hear? Yeah, have light. You hear? Yeah, you have light, and that's good. You did your job. You don't need to do anything else. So, you hear the sound of crunching and viscera, and you hear. The pitter patter of small feet, but you don't see it anywhere around you. 
And then you hear something from right above your head. Oh, um... Breakfast. Man, I'm hungry. Cook watching. Does my Josh have a disadvantage now on moving? I cast yes. mending on I the always had disadvantage on moving. Well, now you don't even have a thing to stand on. I cast re- I cast I mending on his on his um, broken leg to fix it. Would that work with wood? Technically, yes, because it's a repairable item. You hear that, Alex? What? I cast mending on Josh's broken leg so he could walk again. Well, that's nice. Oh, cool. I'll cool. just let you know, I forgot I could do that. Actually. Yeah, okay then. I so, do. That's the funny part. <laughs> this old man drops down from above onto the floor in front of you, his hands coated in blood. Hi! I asked How's for his name. How's it going? I asked Can him for his name. Would, would, would you He's like not interested. Yes. He Roll initiative, food. please. Sure. <laughs> Crown of Madness. Crown of Madness ain't going to do any good. He's undead. 19. 13. He's a vampire. 18. 17. Seven. Okay, hold well. on. Woo, I got 13, boys. I need to write these down. I guess we gotta get the math out. Yeah. Alright, I guess let's maybe. Get the chips and dip up. I don't know, maybe we don't need the map. It's not a very huge cavern. Okay. There's only about 10 dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not after we beat this we old still man gotta up. We find the lighthouse holder. I think that's that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gee, oh. I wonder. I wonder who that is. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, we can't kill him. Um. Oh. Hmm. Well, considering he's already dead. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, never mind. Then. Yeah, you can't him. kill him. He's already dead. See, but the like, is not going unconscious. But you can't knock the dead unconscious. We should kill him. No. You can just kill him. He's, he's already dead. You don't have to worry about that anymore. He's dead. Yeah, but how are you going to explain that? Tell him he was a vampire. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, hey, they know what vampires are. They aren't idiots. Really? Because most of them that we've met are kind of idiotic. Who? Who are you calling a vampire? I'm not a vampire. Just, just No, she's I saying most of the day. people in the village are idiots, and I don't know we why she... We ran into a crazy woman who was literally knocked out by a rabbit. She's an old woman. Have you she ever seen a rabbit punch? I mean, he is a fighter, after all. Yeah. Yeah. She believed that there was monsters everywhere. Well, yeah. She saw. Them. I mean, in a world with magic all over the place and the astral plane, the nine hells, all that. Yeah, uh, that's not an unreasonable. I was into jail because I asked the dude to fuck me. Oh, sorry. If what? If I do it, okay. Yeah, that's a soul. It's like I, that's I, sexual like soul. Anyway, not if I'm asking them to do up. it. Now, that's if I came up and just jumped on and started riding their cock, then that would be sexual so. assault. Well, that's I prostitution. Asked. No, no, you groped. You groped. You didn't ask. You groped. You groped. Yeah, you just groped. Just came up here and just gave gave it a little, you know, feely feel. Give it a little. Woo! Woo! Okay then. So. Uh, let's uh, experience the magic of Disney. Okay, so let's. Uh, well, uh, the Disney, okay, look, no, no, no. Okay, look. Uh, initiative, the initiative. The what, what are the initiatives? Nineteen. Okay. Seventeen. Hold on, hold on. Cassie's nineteen. Seventeen. Okay. Noah. Okay, Noah. What's that? Oh, uh, twelve. Okay, twelve. That's good. Thirteen. Okay. Mm, yeah, 13, yeah. 18. Okay, 18. Why did we add to that again? I got your initiative bumps. I add mine. Oh, I didn't add mine either. Uh, don't worry about it for everybody. Yeah, okay. <coughs> okay, you're 11. Okay, let me see what Dougie's initiative is. <laughs> that one. Let's hope. <coughs> Let's hope. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it, Bam! Stop sneezing on me. Let me, um, yeah. Let me, let me get out. Trying to suck your dick. <sighs> Grab the banana. Bam's like, yeah, that's right. I let that happen and enjoyed it. <laughs> Bam's just like, damn. <laughs> hey, go cakes. You can have that. Yay! I won't play with Bam banana. Oh, okay. Then okay. reach over there. Yeah, he does not have any initiative bonus. Let's see what Dougie's... Banana. Mm, now banana. Well, banana. Oh, banana. wow. You guys are in luck. That Sweet one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dougie rolled a natural one. Disadvantage, though. 
I say he should miss he's his just, first he's, he's, Yeah, he, he, let's <laughs> just say that apparently he landed on a stalactite on the way down. Damn, so he's already half He's already half dead. No, 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 he was oh. just injured. Okay, then, so the, uh, the order goes the like this. Uh, Cassie, you will be first. I'm going to fall asleep. Followed by Bam, then Charlie, then Noah, and then... Matt, you were 11, right? Yep, I'm lowest. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then finally Matt. Are we still standing? And right? Dougie is, is going to miss his first turn anyway. So, yeah. Combat. Hello? Okay. Well, is this how yes, we're standing? Yes. What? Uh, we just came out the hallway. Is this how we're standing? Uh, we're well, well, let's just... Okay, which one of these Wait, is him? Hear me. Okay, no, this is... I'm Charlie. pretty sure I'll uh, see... Uh, yeah, yeah, put that over there. Okay, Don't so her. he's right here I'm on her his ass. ass. Okay, the and you. Hey, shut up, shut up. Charlie, so you were casting Mending to fix his leg, right? Yeah, but I did that with Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's I'm good. just trying to figure out. Okay, which yeah. one of you? This is you. Is this you? That's uh, Casey. Okay, where's Charlie? Uh, uh, Give uh, me Charlie. I'm the one with the violin. Okay, okay, you're the one so... with the violin. Okay, you're standing there. You've casted Mending. Why did we knock Noah over? Uh... I'm because I was told you. that that was Josh's figurine. No, yeah. I was that was putting it nowhere. Then whose figurine is Josh? The guy with no collar. He's the gray one with no collar. Okay, then. Let's fucking fix it, then. Stop straddling my wife's leg. Woo! There, no. <laughs> let me let you by. Or wait, no, where he, you he's, he's walking around. He's walking around a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay. He's trying not to fall okay, asleep. Okay, so I have, I have the fire, like, in my hand. So does that mean that I, that the only way does to attack is to put him. out the fire? It should be fine. Yeah. You should be okay. So I could just attack with one hand and it won't... Have I'm guessing that. yes, Cassie. Okay. Okay. So anyway, now. So, uh, what are you doing? Though? Um, Am I in 90 feet range? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to throw a chronic orb. Okay. And I am And what does that do? It hurls a four-inch diameter sphere of energy, and I'm going to choose fire. And four inches. Four inches a minute diameter. Okay, and what's... And he will take 3d8 of damage. Right, hold on one sec. Yeah, let me just... Here, I'll use... i use this one to be... W. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to cast that spell that should do 3d8 of damage, right? Yes. Okay, well, roll the cast. That's a d20? I'm guessing. Always. Yeah. I got a 15. I got a dollar for every time someone asks if that's a d20, I'd be rich. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say you succeed. I'm going to say that. Just barely. Well, do I need to add anything to Okay, well? so you, you said it's supposed to do 3d8 damage, right? Yeah. Okay, Cat, uh, Charlie, you're going to want to let him in. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm going to go over here. Oh, okay. And just stand up. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a charge. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here. Okay, so roll 3d8s then. Yeah, roll oh, yeah. 3 for me. Yeah. Which one's the... Yeah, Charlie. The one with eight sides. Okay. That one doesn't have any way in it. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Oh, okay. I want to cast Syphilis. You don't oh. have it. I thought okay, you six. You said I did. Two, okay. five. Okay, six, two, and five. That would be. Oh, eight and five, thirteen. Yeah. Uh, okay then. So, yeah, you killed Dougie. Gosh darn it! Dougie's only CR two. He's not very strong. I didn't even get to use the handsome Yeah, so Dougie goes collapsing backwards, coughing up blood. You know the he's whole. He's on fire. Yeah, he's been caught on fire. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, the other bodies were somewhat flammable. Great, hey, now everybody you're burning run. us <laughs> Yeah. Run, fire, run! <laughs> yeah, so you just started a fire yeah. inside of the glacier, <laughs> Cassie. <laughs> so yeah, everybody needs to start running up the stairs and hope that nothing breaks. I get off my face, grab my sword, and start running up, hoping that I'll break. I'm sorry, did you just <laughs> grab the sword again? <laughs> Ta -ta -ta to him. Like it, you dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I'll toss it to Bam. Okay, so you're giving the sword back to him. You got it. 
Give it to me when I, my leg is fixed and call it foot. Okay, so. I think that's where you need to go as soon as we get back to town. So, the, the cavern foot. starts collapsing as the fire engulfs the whole area. The glacier is not looking so great, but thankfully nothing's mm, falling it's... apart. You all make it up to the lighthouse. Thank God, because I rolled a four. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not something that big. It wasn't a very deep one anyway. So, you all finally reach the lighthouse, and the whole little cavern passage collapses behind you, but wait, wouldn't sealing the floor, off... But wait, wouldn't the floor catch on fire, too, because it's got the well oil? No, no, it got snuffed out by all the falling ice okay. and rock. Yeah. So, congratulations, you all killed the CR2 vampire What do you named... mean, you all? I was the only one who attacked that bitch. I helped. I was there. Hey, Dougie only had ten health. He was not a bear. But I did that all by myself. <laughs> it wasn't no you all. My ass. Why does a vampire only have 10 HP? Okay, because he's, he's control level 2. I he's mean, a, uh, he's only a challenge level 2 vampire Charlie, and he's Jacob? very immature. Charlie, when he doesn't see Jacob. No, that's backwards. Charlie, when he sees Jacob. Charlie, when How are you going to like the White House now? Okay, then. Me when you're so, um, yeah. Give it back. So the top area is not on fire, so... Yeah, yeah. So, basically, <laughs> you solved the mystery of what happened to Dougie. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you weren't able to recover the body, and there was a shift in the glacier, so that doesn't particularly look good, but the lighthouse is still standing. Everything seems okay. Oh, I didn't hit. Ow. So, what you all going to do now? I go, the the boat, go back so. over there. To tell them what's happening. I take the elephant to the blacksmith or wh whoever it is. But first, we have story. to report in and explain to them what okay, happened. Okay, well, first yeah. you got to get on the boat to do that. So you're all okay. getting back on the boat. Okay, so you're just Probably leaving the lighthouse unlit, yeah, going yeah. back to the. I house. didn't say it. no. <laughs> Wait, we have to light it first. That's why I bid tell. Ah, them. someone remembered. Yeah, I've been saying that. I thought, I thought the lighthouse was tilted. Light the light the fire within. Well, there's like no, the flames of Mordor! There is one problem. Donald um, calls for aid! Hey, end up. Anyway, if I had this, I would be working out all the time. So, there is a problem. Yeah. So, the fuel that the lighthouse requires to remain burning through the night is whale oil. And as I said before, when they came in, Dougie would kill them, and they would usually drop the vial of whale oil. As in... The glass bottle full of whale oil would be smashed all over the place. Well, and sponge it up. And sponge so it. you're gonna try and sponge it up. I have. I look yeah, for. I look. I have whale oil. I'd like to use. It Do you? Magic. Yeah, I have two tankers. I mean, two. Yeah, tankers are. <laughs> <laughs> what you thought magic? He purchased two tankers of whale oil on a hunch. Gee, I wonder how that happened. I mean, you told him. No, I actually didn't. I have two flasks of oil as well, but it's not whale oil. <laughs> okay. Well, okay then. So you, uh, so what are you gonna do? You, you I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use the um, tinker to the light the lighthouse. Okay then. So you're gonna climb up the steps to go up to the top and light the lighthouse. Would that cost two? Of okay. Both uh, uh, roll or perception. Or Give me a. Only take one or both of them. Did you just roll a one? No. Yeah. What did he roll? Ten, Ten. plus you, three. He got thirteen. Okay. Yeah, uh, thankfully you managed to tell that some of the uh, the boards on the lighthouse have been somewhat neglected. What I even say, no, deliberately sabotaged. Give me back the Robert, you gonna go tell everyone else? Give it back! Let's play with the tip. Give it back! What are y'all doing? You don't want to know. Let me show them. Hand me and I'll show you. Josh! Hand me the banana. Why are you screwing the inside of the banana? Josh, hand me the banana Josh. so I can show him what just happened. Josh, stop sounding the banana and get hand it. it back to Cassie. Now, Joshua. He's got to get it back to banana shape. Josh. Josh, you're sucking. Okay, so he, this is what Charlie did. Charlie said, this around women, this around men. My character. This around women, this around men. This around Joshua. Gross. Anyway, so I'm gonna give uh, Peace a hurt because she's bitch. lighter. Can make up the stairs better. I don't. Think okay, I so know. you give the two tankards to her and tell Onyx to go up the <laughs> stairs to light the light. Right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So 
I now you those. you do notice going up there that some of the boards are somewhat busted up on the stairs and everything. I'm a fox. I can walk up the walls, dude. Okay, well that's wonderful. Okay, so just do that. Yeah. Okay, and then when you reach the top, you see the platform up there is absolutely covered in blood, smeared in runic ritual signs all over the place, and there is literally another corpse lying on top of the um. On top of the pyre. Hey, dumbasses! I need help! I want to investigate. Oh, wait. Give me a dex save. Oh, good. That's the best. You saw him running up there? Four. You roll the four! You roll the four! You take three steps up the steps, the stairs collapse under you, and you fall on your face. I have an eight. Everybody so just... Yeah, that, no, no. Charlie, use bar against Bray. So what? Cat doesn't uh, jump. I, I ain't near you. I'm on the boat. Well, he just was trying to run up the stairs. I get the stairs collapsed. Under. I said, what I do you want to investigate? I gave Bear the sword because I can't right? carry it. Okay, wait. You're investigating. Yeah, I said I go to investigate. That so was my you word. walked up the stairs. Is what yeah. you're telling me. To go investigate. The stairs collapsed. Under. What are you cooking, Noah? But you said I ran up there. Oh. It doesn't really matter if you ran or walked. The stairs were already pretty weak and broken up anyway. So Why do you think watch. Dougie was so skinny? I'm smaller than her. How, how did I break her? She did. She ran up the wall. She ran up the wall. What's your excuse? I could also work. You just wall. landed face first. Enough complaining. I could also. Climb anyway, the so what's next? You get a perfect mind one intelligence because you went. Nah. What what's going on? It's just down to everyone else down the Mr. Rabbit? Yeah. Buster, could you help? What do I do? Do I go up to the up house? those stairs, and the stairs are very <laughs> unstable. If only oh, someone oh, was oh. good at jumping! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, hold Get up and climb to the roof. You, you, you try to climb up the stairs again. I could climb walls. He's a That's cat. What I was Give saying. me an athletics chip. We literally have climbing. Yeah. How tall is the lighthouse? About 40 feet. Oh, good. We could climb this proficiently. Yeah, that's the seven thing. Okay, yep. yep. Well, okay, so you make it up to the top, and you see that Dougie apparently Underneath. has been doing some really fucked up shit Underneath up here. on the left side. I'd like to investigate the ruins. Red ball. Okay, so you can tell that they are some sort of necromancy ritual. However, as to what end it would reach, you are not really oh, sure. There's a red one in there. Josh you can actually down. see that they're somewhat similar to Aurum, the Auron based right. I try to read them. Uh, the only thing that you can really determine is power, death, blood, and the night. They got put the These, dead at night. The ones that I can read says like power, the death, all. and night. Like power, the blood, death, and night. Those are the only four words he can really mind. manage to get from all these runes around a pyre with a dead body on it. Take the body off! Me and Josh can get out of here. Okay, I'm touch that keypad. This. Yep, touch it. Now swipe to the right. Left. Other swipe right. again. Swipe again. One more time. It's 73 degrees in this house. Yep. Yeah. Take yeah. the bite off like until the moon rises or the bite will revive. Why are, okay, it's literally just one of the people that were sent out there to deliver whale oil. Yeah. Take them off of it. Me, me and Josh are at the bottom because we can't get up the stairs. Right. Josh is on the boat with me. Yeah. Well, I'm, Y'all all got off the boat. I, me and him went back onto the boat while she went to light the thing. Why? Because we didn't, think it, we didn't think it'd take this long for her to light up the light. You know, it didn't occur to you that lighthouses require maintenance, did it? There's still glass around. I look out and say, get your stupid. It says back here. Actually, you there's no me? glass. It's literally just a large bonfire pit at the top. Oh, well, I, I you see me throw some fingers up there. <laughs> okay. Fireball. So, anyway. That's so, what the mom said. Bust your book after three seconds of holding it. So, go after yourself. <laughs> Anyway, so um, what what so what are you doing? What's going on here? I want to climb the stairs. Like uh, I was trying to. Do you're gonna jump. Really interrupted. You're gonna jump up the stairs, right? Yeah. Okay, you jump up the stairs. You see the horrendous, bloody sight that looks like some kind of necromantic, vampiric ritual from hell, and you also see that they're considering lighting it or what. I so what light. you gonna what you doing, Buster? They're lighting what? 
a big lighthouse. fire at the top to light up the lighthouse. Don't do it. You have to remove I the body. Know. As he's jumping up, do we just hear, here comes Peter Cottontail. Here yes, comes yes, Peter you fucking do. Yes, you <laughs> yes, do. Like, I'm sorry, says, Noah. I'm sorry. I say we go back and get the, uh, what was the guy that I got learned stuff from? The boats? I can't remember his name. The guy that was oh, the you, you want to go bring Barnard. One of the most important members of the city to the lighthouse. Okay, sure, sure. So that's that your suggestion. No. What What are the rest of y'all doing? Are they gonna well, light I think it? we just move the body and light it. I didn't say yeah. you couldn't. That's what I'm trying to do. Light the body. Oh, so that's what you're doing. Cool. Yes. Wait. Okay, this... give me a strength check. That's I mean, take he's, off he's the body. not very heavy. It should be. Don't go back. Y'all need to break the whistle symbols. No, you don't. Uh, I don't know, we can literally leave it as it is and walk away. To re-roll? Uh, what did you roll? I rolled a two, but I used my inspiration, so negate that. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not I like there would have been any negative consequences. He's already dead. I have a 14 now. Okay, yeah, you definitely just heave the body right off the fire, mess up the rooms, and yeah, everything looks good. Right. Yeah, so... Runes are messed up. I mean, I like I mean the runes are written in blood, so they're pretty easy to smudge. So you just throw the uh, the whale oil on the pyre and light it up. Huh? Light it up. Okay, well, it may take the uh, fire immediately starts up, and yeah, everything looks good. Uh, you all managed to actually light the lighthouse. People will not run into the rocks when the fog rolls in, so that's real good. It would be. Um, everybody back to the boat. Yep. So everyone's going back to the boat. Okay. Let's uh, let's see how they do on the trip down. How many takers was <laughs> wasted for the I fire? Walk, okay. You the walk down. You climb down. Okay. How, how many, many takers to all the band waste for that fire? Two. Okay. You needed two. Yeah. Okay. Because they ain't, they ain't the big flasks that they were using. So yeah. Uh, you, and you're I'm just jumping down. Okay. Yeah. You can do that. Okay, uh, yeah, so you all managed to get back in the ship. I'm guessing you're sailing back to harbor to tell the harbor master the um, Gruesome. news. Uh, yeah, so who's, uh, yeah, so Dougie's dead. Yeah. Real shame. I- I'll tell him. No one will miss I, him. I'm glad to miss him. No one at all. But, you know, that's how that goes. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you all find yourself. Back at the jetty where you parked your ship, right up in here. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you ran over the little dinghy when you came. <laughs> the dinghy! No, not my dinghy! <laughs> yeah, you ran over the little dinghy! <laughs> my dinghy! <laughs> I did that just for you. I hope you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big elephant boy, let's go to the... Harbor. Harbor. Fires, fires we Harbor have to, master. Fires, we have to let them know what happened. Okay, actually, shouldn't you be taking somebody to get his leg fixed? That's yeah, what I was trying to we say. We let them know first. We have to report in first. You well, look, look. The rest of the party could do that. The rest of the party could do that. But he's the one who got the mission. They don't know who we are. I yeah, they do. They t- told him to get his party to do it. Yeah. yeah I yelled the harbor master while I walled to the floor to come out. Uh, he can't hear you in his office. Mm. Look, just just go, just go to the office. All right, uh, just just go to the forge. All right, so we go to the forge. He ain't allowed in, so I walk in. Actually, no, he's been allowed in okay. because he's working for the. Well, then I roll him in. Okay, okay. Bam! Hand him your then my sword. Hold on. That's bent. No, he's not with you. The he, full, can't, he can't carry that. But sure. I can't carry that. You gotta, you gotta take, bring that back. I'm here to fix your leg. I can't, I can't bring that sword. My leg's all broken. I'm here to get you a leg that will hold it. You yeah, can... here comes, uh, here comes little man in a wheelchair. Yeah, excuse me, sir. Yeah, couldn't help but notice that he's now missing an arm. How's he? What him? happened? Well, there was a little problem when I was manning the forge mm. to make your sword. Can we get a leg for him too? Metal, please, or something that can hold well over. Well, thankfully, you brought me, uh, you you lot brought me back some metal. However, I still don't feel very right working for this degenerate. I could use uh, some magic and help cure some of your wounds, or even give you a really good night's rest in only ten minutes. His his, his arm cannot be replaced with magic. I could give you a really good night's rest in ten minutes. 
His legs can't be replaced either, and he's not <laughs> interested. He's an old man. Anyway, so uh, you said no. I'm not talking about like a sexual. I actually have a spell that does that. Okay, well Sleep. that's not really important. No. You said, yes. well, I I suppose that given that the fact that you're all working to help with the problems we're having, I can overlook my scruples and make him a leg. Didn't Although, I? my artificing skills aren't as good as they used to be, perhaps I could use some assistance and... You can learn. Let me go get our let me go get our artificer that's been traveling with us. He will know more about how to assist you than... Didn't you with come it. with us? I don't, I don't know. I guess I did. You need to learn to take some initiative in this. Stupid. Okay, so you did. Right. So, basically, he, he's set to work smelting up some parts whoa, whoa. and everything. Wait a minute. He Wait. says this will take about a day and a half for us to do right, but once it's over, you should have your leg. Would he be upset because the sword's on his back that's bent that he just made? And lost in his arm. Yeah, it is oh, bent. Oh, I'm sorry. Back. Does it look like he's running a charity? No. I thought he'd be upset that it cost him the arm and he already it. bent it. I mean, you paid for, it. paid for it. If it's your yeah. sword that's busted, it's your sword that's busted. Okay. Wait, so am I apprenticing under him or just helping him? You're just helping him for right now. But you might learn something. Yes, right. he can learn yeah. how to fix the blade that is bit on your head. hit you with this banana. Mm -hmm. Don't you make it. Hit him with the banana. Hit me with your banana. Don't make a Long banana. banana. Okay, then. So, now. So, uh, you two are getting to work on the sword and everything. Uh, give me a d20. D20? Yeah. Roll it out. 20. 20? Yeah! He did. You're, you're learning real well. You're also applying a lot of good artificing skills. He's going to have a good leg. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see here. So, the rest of y'all, I guess you're all heading to the Harbor Master's office to, um... Yep. a bunch of losers, yes. Yeah. We have to, uh... We have to, uh... So who's going to tell the harbor master what happened? I'm not there yet. So I have zero charisma. It'd be funny if I did. I feel like Charlie should. Okay. okay. So you, you want to go talk to him. I okay, have so you walk charisma. in, the assistant says, Oh, hello. Uh, are you charisma. here about the matter that your partner was I have was the highest pool. Look at Dougie. Um, yeah, nice. Okay. Nice uh, well, nice then I suppose the harbor master will see you now then. So she ushers you all in. He's still filling out more and more paperwork from sunken ships due to all the pirates. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he says, oh, uh, you're all here. Uh, where's the one I sent the message to? <coughs> gave the mission to? Um, uh, the, the, the big elephant thing. The, the loxodon, yeah. Yeah, uh, about that. He um, broke his leg. He broke his leg. Oh. Not the one that actually can be broken, but the one that is already broken. Oh. Well, that makes sense. He broke his fake leg. Yeah. Yes, peg leg injuries are very common here. <laughs> uh, he says not having any legs of his own at all. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah. Let me put it down. Uh, yeah, let me put it back up there. And, uh, yeah, yep, there you go. Yeah. No legs. No legs at all. Just a flipper. Anyway, Did he ever have legs though? No. Okay. He's literally a dugong. <laughs> Almost winning back. He's a magical dugong. Okay. So, um, he says, okay, well, um, we kind of noticed that there was um, the a shift in the glacier. Yeah. They conclude they got. And we them. heard the explosion. Mm-hmm. Wanna tell us what happened? Certainly. Vampires. How, how how vampires exactly here? Uh, Dougie was turned into one. We oh. think he was doing a bad spell. He was doing Usually. some cult stuff. Oh, uh, well, that's certainly a shame. Dougie was always a loyal member of our society. That's... Well, we found ruins. We have books. We found other dead bodies. We found trails of blood. We found ritualistic sacrifices and imagery. Yeah. It was, it was pretty bad. Oh. But on the good side, the lighthouse is lit. Well, that's that's good, I suppose. We'll have to appoint a new lighthouse keeper now. Um, we might have to clean it up. So, something that I believe I should ask now is, uh, 
Did you determine how Dougie became a vampire? We believe that he just became one. There was sacrifice stuff all over the place in there. He just became one. We think he did a ritual to become one and use sacrifices to help him. Right. Dark magic, dude. Oh. Well, if that is the case, I suppose we could say that case closed. Good job. And all of you who came back will receive 300 gold. Yeah. So everyone write down 300 gold. Including the two who, or those who are not here. Uh, so plus 300? Yeah, plus 300. I cannot keep eating this stuff. You want some now? Uh, I'm good. I mean, it's loaded down with chocolate now. I'm good now. Okay. Chocolate and peanut butter. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, he thanks you for your, uh, for your work and all that and helping pu- and helping public. And then he says, you know, if you're all interested, I know we're still, you know, dealing with a more long-term problem with the uh, whole pirate situation and the blockade, so we can't get any supplies in, but Gallus, the captain of the guard, does have something he would like looked into. Now, given your criminal history and everything, he does not have a very good opinion of you all, but uh, there's gold in it. Criminal. Criminal is a term. Son, do you want the work or not? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then, so go talk to Gallus. Tell him that I have sent you on a special assignment for his task force team. Yeah. And with that, he returns to, to his paperwork, and you're ushered out of the room with your friends. You know. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're all ushered out of the office and back out of the harbor office again, instructed to head to the barracks and talk to Gallus. All right, so I guess me... Josh and me and Josh run into Did them while Ben's still it? working. Well, y'all are working. Matt, did he just bust a banana? I don't know. Ben, did you bust a banana? I fucking banana. <laughs> I didn't bust it. It barely tore. The looby tip tore. See it? It's still so shut out. Bam's, Bam's banana is leaking! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> On the couch! Why on my couch? He busted it didn't, it didn't, I was doing this. I was, I was like touching the tip because I was trying to get the green stuff off. I rubbed it and then it shot on me. You <laughs> rubbed it and it. Yeah. That's some pretty good banana. <laughs> hey, just go and some get some. Some pretty good Just get some. Uh, some uh, uh, super glue that shit back on there. No, the super glue won't work with that material, Will. You know something? Too flexible. Ma'am, I would give you $100 right now if on this camera. You shove that banana up his ass and just squeeze all the material out. Run, Josh! Run, Josh! We can't do that. Give that boy a synthetic cream pie, baby! Hey, love it, love it, love it. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. I wouldn't really gonna give you a hundred dollars anyway. I don't have a hundred. That wasn't Lambo. Anyway, okay, so. Yeah, Alex. What? Can I get one of your Oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Um. Anywho. So, uh, you've all been instructed to head to Gallus, so what are you all doing? Oh my god, damn, god damn it! What? What are you doing? He's jerking off in the fucking... <laughs> in the trash can! The Why couldn't you do that outside, man? And there's like small bits of seed just go... <laughs> right out to the... So gross! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going back to sit down. I gotta get my charger. Okay, my so though. you're all here, and you're going to the barracks. Yep. yep okay. Yep. So what about Bam? Bam was uh, helping to. Oh, He's still right, there. right. So let's wait for Bam to get done jacking off. Bam, oh. it should not take you that long to jack off. It's not like you have all that much to jump. I don't know what you're talking. He about. He has a lot of jerk. Look, 
He got, How he do you know what he has in there? Because well, he's well, Unless me we're going it. to be getting an OnlyFans account, we do not need to be measuring dicks on camera. That's right. something that Duncan would have done if he was Sorry. here. Alex, well, he did do go that. ahead and make my OnlyFans account so we can go ahead and get this Charlie. going. Mine's of a sanity. OnlyFans. Charlie, the only way I am getting pantsless in the same room as you for dick measuring is if we have a hook. No, you don't have to dress. I mean, undress. I don't have to undress. That's what the boys are for. All you have to do is take pictures of I'm the sorry. Team. You do realize one of them is under the age of 18. That's what those two are for. I'll shoot you. All you have to do is take pictures of your feet. Hey, you make money too, Matt. That's a job. Man, I don't want my dick to be public. That's like it's already public! Feet. All you have to do is do a feet only thing, it's dumbass. Or butt only thing. That's fans. a parking guys. Is that how you met it? Put the boob cup away! You done? I think he's washing his ass oil. You done? We, we kind of need you back. <laughs> Why is this thing thing wet? But, hey, do not, you're getting water all over my damn notes. Damn it, bam. Stop getting him wet. Hey, do you have a... Plug in, mm, plug in. He's asking for a phone jack. Yeah. What am I doing? There was a type C right is there a wire already connected in there? No, there's not. This right here is actually coming up from behind the couch. Okay. Remember how I told you everything is kind of hardwired in? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so. Now, Ooh. after a couple hours of labor, you three, in your combined right. efforts along with uh, Chester, was which was actually the name of the little right. man in, in the wheelchair, oh, produce him a leg. Sorry. Y'all need to move, bitch. It's day. a Come very point. good leg. <sighs> it's mechanical. <sighs> can it hold and, all the weight? And it can support his weight and. <laughs> Something went up my butt. Noah. <laughs> They want to play, but again, no. Charles. Fucking shit! What? Please, Please fucking be careful. That. I'm trying. I stuck a finger up his butt. <laughs> okay. Charlie, stop trying to stick in his butt. That was her, not me. We all know it was me. <laughs> Ma'am, you've already abused your banana enough to the point where it's deflated oh now. I mean, my, my, uh, my. He's my, stroking it with his feet down here. My foot. He's giving it a banana. He joined it dry. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're getting water and shit all over my foot. No, phone. no. It's empty. I cleaned it. It's empty out now. It, he's yeah. going to use it as a flashlight. You know he will. And the worst part is it can fit. He'll probably use it as a, as a condom for Reusable Morgan. condom. Hey, you're not going to use that. They did that in the it. Old West. Let's just say it wasn't very effective. <laughs> I can totally see him trying to use that on Morgan and her being like, They uh, use sheepskin. Her sheep guts. Yeah. That right there is a very grippy material, so that would probably be very uncomfortable for her. Anyway, anyway, what's going on? Like a oh. with hey guys, I'm back they on made camera. a new leg, so he now has a leg that he can actually walk on and bear the weight of that stupid ass sword. Can I get my feet back? And now the town, oh, yes, you can. Yeah, and now the town is back to being out of iron again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! No iron. We're forward. so gonna fucking this place up, dude. Yeah. We're the worst best crew ever. Okay, good, good. I have to hang my foot. Now, okay, cool. um... There, Bam. I'm so, back. now, God. about the money. Hold on, real quick. What did Bam learn? Uh, oh, yeah. He gets a plus two in any kind of, um... Artificing, artificing basically. Yeah. Okay, okay. Put that somewhere. Yeah, he gets a you plus two on top of his story. normal bonuses. Yeah. Just write that plus somewhere. two to artificing. I say, like, right. that's a bonus. Did not know that. Bam, my sword back. <laughs> so Alice is trying to poison you. Poison you? I'm allergic to cashews. Oh shit, did you try and get that? No, no, no. no. I read it on the front to see what's going on. Okay, thank goodness, yes. Please, do. In yeah, all future ca cases. Cashews swell my lips and Look, I'm going to warn you in all future cases. Do not let me forget this, because I probably will. You it's, know how I do. It's all good, dude. I'm not mad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> seriously. Anytime I get um, trail mix... Mm -hmm. It's going to have cashews. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just just know that. If I get some, I'm I'll just pick them out. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I'm allergic to cashews, and I found out recently I'm allergic to apples, even though they're one of my favorite fruits to eat. I've never become allergic to apples. Uh, I ate too much. 
and it uh, it had made me allergic. So now my not only my lips and my tongue swell up, but I, it also gives me intense diarrhea. Wow, that's not like a problem. Like I will. That's, that's like a bad. I will literally just be like <laughs> anaphylactic <laughs> shock. Okay, I'll so, do it too. So he has a it's new so leg, good, and bro. he's capable of doing it. Now, for the price, Chester says, well, because you helped me on the forge and everything, I'll make it cheap. 200 gold. 200 gold, so who's paying? I'll pay that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now. Look at me. My age is old enough. No, he has his mechanical leg, you have the sword. Perfect. Now. Now you just need to bend the sword. Let's go to Mountain, Charlie. What are you about to say? You're, you're not going to say anything to oh. Chester? <laughs> Did you just try to eat he, that banana? He just cock slapped himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's way too thick. <coughs> anyway. That's one way to so do it. So you're not going to say anything to Chester about um, anything? About the would... sword. Shut up. I'm gonna do that. That's your problem. <laughs> um, I, I can't think of what it's called. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mr. Elf, I have a hundred gold uh, um, a fee for getting you there I and getting think, you taken care of. I thank him for his. Uh, um, I look at him. I'm your shield. So his his tutelage makes like a lot. And I request sure. if on I'll later dates if he can teach me more. He says, My well, money. Money. I, we I don't got know how much more I can teach you, but I'll give it a whirl. Um. Yeah, he's tiny enough. So he's basically saying, yeah, 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 sure, sure. I wasn't going sexual with this, but... I'm not requesting him to fix the sword. (laughs) Okay, Okay, yeah, he ain't fixing that sword, boy. (laughs) And also, I'll remind you, there's no more metal from your leg. It was just bending it. Well, Well, the issue last time, too, was it was going to take all the metal. Okay, there's one. You can and then the I think sword. two of the men came over here. Hey, at yeah. least we got him a now a working yeah. leg that's not going to break or give under any reason. <laughs> that's in my other well, leg. I didn't say any reason. It'd, It'd be, be a lot harder though. It is made of metal. If it gets real hot and then real cold, uh, it'll shatter. I'm immune to cold. <laughs> yeah, I was on there you yeah. Your leg <laughs> isn't. <laughs> he got that um wolf thing, which made him immune to cold. Just wrap it around his leg. leg. Yeah. Wrap it around your leg. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, um, now, uh, so with no further business, Chester goes back to work. Um, so you were all told that you did need to go visit Gallus at the uh, barracks. I went to the barracks. Okay, so you're going to the barracks, yeah. okay? Follow. Everyone else? Follow. I'll follow. Okay. okay, okay. So, uh, the guards issue you all in through the port yeah, Cullis. The, uh, the barracks is pretty heavily guarded. But, uh... But, yeah, you're finally let in to Gallus. You know what? This reminds me of Aqua Teen <laughs> Hunger Force. There was there was that episode where they got a pet and they named him Hand Banana. Yeah. And he just really likes to fuck people. I found like... the tip. Here, let me one... see if I can pop it. Okay. That, that one and uh, the episode where all the fruit and are like Christian and not. Oh yes, yes, the Christian. And the, and the banana is just like. I swear to God, if you don't give me some crack cocaine, I'm a bitch slap you. <laughs> Let's sit down. Let's sit down, Charlie. I can't. I've got to stand. Okay. Okay, then. So, Gallus is standing there, and yes, that is what his face looks like. He is frowning at you because he knows you motherfuckers ruin everything you touch. But hey, he's... sexy. Like my leg. Get out of here, you gutter trash. My little fox boy. I just turned into a fox and stayed there. Fine. Get hey, off your phone. Sup, bitch. Yeah. I, I had to tell you to get off your phone in school. I shouldn't have to do it in here. Damn, ah, man. Ah, you got ah, to ah, ah, school, ah. too. Wait, damn, he graduates this year. Yeah, he does. I 
Damn. You didn't tell him to get out of my phone. Actually, yeah. I did. He probably, he probably did like every five minutes. Wow, he never told me that. Cause yeah, because you were too scared shitless and you were in the choir room. Yeah, because I was in now, choir. He probably just knew there's no point in telling you you ain't learning shit anyway. And that's actually a class at Joshua that likes. Yeah, well, they, were, was a they weren't actually doing anything that day. Anymore. But still, that's like the only class that he actually gives Okay, you. so Gallus is sitting there frowning and looking around at everyone. Well, let's see here. Violent criminal, violent criminal. Aren't you a cow? Meow, meow, motherfucker. Public nuisance. <laughs> Prostitute. Wait, I'm done. Sex nothing. offender. I'm not going to do anything to be called to be seen as a prostitute. Uh, I just like to say, you got those mixed up. Okay. Yeah. Wait, I'm prostitute not sex offender. Okay, that's better. I haven't offended nobody. Basically, you're both prostitute sex offenders. No, I don't take money. Mine is free. Okay. So. Mine cost money, and I was not a sex offender. I, all I did was ask him if he wanted to bang me. You performed a reach around grope on a complete stranger through his pants. I have not forced myself <laughs> on anybody, and I have not said ah. any money. I'm all I did was ask him. Ask so, what you're money. saying is their crimes are being politicians. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gallus likes you a little bit more now, but it's that's like not really important. He says, look, yep. the Admiral sent, <laughs> sent word to me that he was going to have your little group over. We got a problem. And I know it seems kind of stupid, me saying... We got a problem oh, when we're problem. already a few weeks away from starving here in How this town. I almost get kicked out for making a sexual comment, but she does it. She hasn't said anything. Yet. I just said, said I can fix all your problems. Okay, he hits you upside the head with the sword. Take three more damage. I'm oh, fine. I won't fertilize your land anymore. I did not do that yeah, last time. Like, I fertilized the land outside Charlie, the gate. Fertilizing the, the land doesn't do anything, dumbass. They don't grow crops here. It's you too can't cold. grow plants with cum. <laughs> you also can't grow uh, plants in, in that part. You can't grow. Estrogen. You can't Estrogen. grow food in tundra. Yeah. You can grow potatoes. No. It's no. just shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, You're the Irish. He's like, uh, okay. So Irish. look. Yeah, what's up? We got a drug problem. Oh! oh. Damn, why was I never offered? See, I swear those steroids are in my mind. I think he's going over there blowing on uh, the banana. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm not, not, not steroids. Okay. I think I found See, a drug problem, so go away well. We got a little problem. We've been intercepting <laughs> these shipments the, the from the, the mainland. The drugs belong to him. He okay. bought all of it. That's a high chance of it being... Of a kind of <laughs> highly concentrated fungal poison. Yeah, most definitely mine. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna haunt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Uh, yes! Hey, yes. there's a note right there! <laughs> Noah's character is the reason for the drugs! <laughs> Well, your character is candy. <laughs> He's been growing that mushroom ever since oh, and using it to make it. more drugs. And now he's selling it across the world. He's definitely because he is a shit bag. Mm. <laughs> you need a Twizzle for that. <laughs> never Toss me one, Charlie. Hey, don't worry. It gets worse. Oh, gosh. Is, does he have a flaming dick, too? No. No. <laughs> Can you just have been memorialized at the bar with a statue to up front? No, but he is going to find something else Maybe related to that. Person. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So, he said, the problem is, I do not have... There's a click over there. That's his. Anyway. Well, I'm dying. Yeah, eat them Wrigley floor worms. Why not? Who mopped and swept before everyone showed up? Like, they're who mopped and swept. It doesn't so. matter. There's still germs on the floor. Especially yeah. since you have cats. That's what I said. They're who mopped they and swept. They have a weird alcoholic taste to them. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I you know, fun fact. Pounds. I'm going to say this in loving memory of my father. He absolutely loved Twizzlers. I, got five pounds I don't know why my mother and I cannot stand Twizzlers for the life of us. They're bad. For some odd know. reason, he loved them. Seriously, Bam? Yeah. I don't like licorice, period. 
By what? I don't like licorice. Oh, yeah. Why are you eating it? I'm because, like, you offered it. I don't want to be rude. I mean, it wouldn't be rude. Just say no thanks. I'm good. Okay, well. Just tell him to go shove it up his ass, dude. Well, that Eddie, is. let me shove it up your ass. Right, that, that's proper if you don't. Don't shove it up your ass! If you don't want to give it to Bam or Matt or stick it in your Or seat. give it to Josh while they hurtened around and became a fucking oh, mermaid. Oh, oh, okay, then. So, now. So, he says. Are you deep so in the can? Here's, no, I'm. <laughs> here's the problem. We don't really know who's responsible for bringing the drugs in. My father does. It was me. Kibble, kibble, kibble. Do we just need to lock you up? Yeah. <laughs> That's That's that would be awesome. In there. Uh, you just accidentally kicked kibbles when she came over there to love on you. What? Oh, she, she was she's coming kibbles. over there to you and you stretched out your legs. Anyway, like, so, yeah. And it, he's, he's going to politely ignore that. Okay. Um, so... Look, these these drugs are bad. You see, okay. the normal stuff just causes people to pass out. This stuff that they've been unloading on the city has been causing some nasty side effects, um, like seizures. Ooh, so that's like a fun and a whole bag of party. No, as in, like, people are actually dying and busting their heads open while they violently shake Dude, how, about that, how dare that fucking little shit sell shit that kills people? No. That's what knives are for. No one. Well, you see, obviously, and I'm just speaking from what I think the the little gnome or dwarf man would say here. You mean little bitty piece of shit? Is, um, oh, what oh, I'm thinking he would that. say is... That he was intending for the highly concentrated stuff to get cut. But unfortunately, the guys who are selling it here ain't smart enough to be cutting it. So they're basically selling a highly concentrated version of the black bomb that can kill somebody. I'll smoke Sounds some if I have. Fun. <laughs> hey, I'm the one that yeah. smokes. Yeah! Sounds real fun, dude. Yeah! Um, so. She was enjoying that. He says, so here's what I need you all to do. I need you all to spread out through the city and see if some of you can make contact with whoever might be selling this. Now, obviously, some of you have a criminal reputation given the public have seen you all being arrested multiple times so you may all have the best hope of getting into this little ring and shutting it down are you all interested yes yeah, yeah. yeah. sure and we get a full pardon for all of our crimes yeah sure. i think we already have yeah like a twice. I mean, technically speaking, <laughs> for we don't further crime. Crime. pardon for we, further crime. We don't. We don't have enough people in order to actually solve this crisis we're under. So, actually, putting you away for good for your crimes yeah. is out of the question at this point. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, okay. sure, you get a pardon for this. Okay? Awesome. We can the parents of Mouth Mouth Guard News. So, we've officially established <laughs> the oh God, no. So, we've officially established Suicide Squad here. Can I take the first uh, turn on on this? One? I call Will Smith. Hey, Chuck, Wait, no, I, I hate his wife. Like Idris Elba. I call uh, Margot Robbie. Hey, don't talk about his don't wife. Or he's a punch you in the face. You. Good. Slap him. Slap him. Slap him. Okay, and then I'll make a really him. amazing comedy special right and after. You cannot take her. She's mine. Okay, then. She's so, everyone's. With that, while you're all busy arguing, Gallus has you all removed from the area and sent back out into town, saying. Don't fuck this up. All right. Let's Me and this Matt. Shit up. Okay, hold we, on. We want to go to the most oh, densely populated area of the, of, the, uh, of the town that is not of guards. Okay, like, then. So guards can be there. You're going to want to go. But we don't want to go to, like, the barrack. Like, we're talking about somewhere like the market. Where just, any, just a bunch of everybody will be. Okay, then. So you're going to want to go to the housing blocks where most of the people live. All right. And there okay. ain't a whole That's lot of guards. All right. We All need right. to get everybody outside. Ice. Okay then. So we just we play songs. So who so. who's going where? Me and him are going to the housing. Okay, yeah. you guys are going to the housing. Uh, box. three. I'll go with them. Okay, you're going with them too. Yeah. Okay, okay. What about you two? I'll go by the market and look around. Okay, you're looking around in the market. Okay. Well, I have to help them with the missions. 
Technically, no, but it helps. You know, you've been being very passive. I think you're going to help. Even though you're chaotic evil. I know. I've been thought Why you is it chaotic evil? Kill me. Why I'm are you chaotic, chaotic evil? evil? You've done nothing but good things. Change the alignment. Change the alignment. You've done nothing but good things anyway. Put him to chaotic <laughs> neutral or to I mean, look, neutral. the same thing happened with Noah's character because he was nice to a little hummingbird person. He felt bad when he got a little hummingbird but girl turned into a, a mushroom zombie. Ooh, what? So like you don't remember campaign. it, but yeah, first campaign, that was you. Uh, yeah. yeah, you felt like a dick for that, yeah. Anyway, uh, so I made you change your alignment, yeah, because that's Cassie, how that... Who, what character was that? Right, uh, you were the tiny little dwarf. I'm gonna go stand on the side You were too busy trying dwarf. to fuck the mushroom to notice that. Oh, oh no, I was a gnome, but wasn't a dwarf. Oh, gnome, right, okay. That's yeah, Chris first, was the dwarf. That, that's well, I was that, chaotic. That's character is a gnome. Scary. The one that me and Cassie made is a gnome. because he Yeah, gnome. you went from chaotic evil to chaotic good. Oh, uh, okay. In the course of that campaign. What, um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go stand on a street corner. No! Oh, any particular street corner? Actually, uh... No, just a street corner and see if anybody will come up to me and then I can see if I can get some stuff. Actually, I'd like to go to the bar. Okay, you're going to the bar instead of helping around the houses. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask some questions about the bar. So I was like, I mean, it's still a good place oh, to go. Oh, I see. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so who wants to go first? Me, Matt. He, okay, he, you he and needs... Matthew. Okay, we'll go first. He All hasn't right. done anything yet. Okay, so what are you doing? I want to go to the forge to learn to rework metals. But... Okay, then. So you're just going to go fuck the whole mission right on off, and you're going to go bother Chester some more. Let's save you for last. Yeah. Okay, then. So... You and uh, Matthew are basically going around the housing block. So we, first, we give need, me a. We need hey. everyone outside. Why? Because of something I can do. Okay. Well, look. First, give me a perception roll. Well, Both of you. <laughs> What's yours? I rolled a five. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. You see quite a few people wandering around the area and everything. But there is something a little off. You see a guy eyeing you from a back end. <laughs> yeah. Matt, get everyone's attention. Yeah, you, you see a guy eyeing you from a back alley. He's kind of hairy. <gasps> hairy, man. He's very hairy. His name hairy? He's actually covered in spots, too. Oh, he's a cheetah man. Um, yeah, so you, you see him... Uh, Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up the picture here. Ah. Yeah. You see him kind of eyeing you from the alley. Oh, hyena. Uh, yeah, he's a gnoll. Ah, uh, gnoll. Yeah, gnoll hunter, yeah. He says, uh, hey, kid. What you doing around here? He's with me still, right? Yeah. He, he, he ain't even looking. He ain't, he ain't even looking. It's all. All right. I say, I'm just here to do a performance. Now I, I knock my staff on the ground, and I cast Zone of Truth. Everyone within 60-foot radius of me Yo, I have must that too. tell the truth. And I yell out, who all here knows about any kind of drug dealings? Yes. Everyone yeah. must. Dog. There is no save to this. Fuck. Yep. Why do you think I want as many people as possible? Gotcha. Yeah. So you get a whole. You got about five people in this sixty foot radius. Three of them say I do. <laughs> Take us there. Okay. And they have to. Because and, the however, the three of them that are saying things about drugs uh -huh. are not Benson, the null. We, we're not. I'm just trying to find anyone that has something to do with drugs. I'd like to continue talking to this guy. Yeah, I just want. I'm gonna follow them, the three. Uh oh. But the zone. They all point with me you back. Uh, they all say you have to go to the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I travel to the tavern. I guess. Stay with me, man. No, I'm gonna follow that lead while you. So you you're gonna be all. following the There's three so helpless the NPCs. Tavern. But wait a minute, wait a minute. They just have to tell you. They don't actually have to follow the command. No, but if... Well, yeah, that's true, but if anywhere I go, the, the zone follows me. But I'm not going to keep casting them. it if they've already told me a lead. Yeah, so they're, they're not going to take you anywhere. You just got to go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, you're talking to Benson, and he's like, What the fuck was that? Oh, that was my sister. Don't mind her. So why did, why did why he... Why is he asking to? about drugs? 
Oh, we're just trying to find some good stuff, that's all. And also, I'm, remi I'm just going to say this. My character is high at 24-7, well, and I'm always smoking weed. Oh, look, son, I I'll tell you this. God, you're so scared. I don't know anything about where the drugs come from. But I know some people who might. Hmm. Okay, so that's why, I didn't, that's why I didn't answer the that's question. That's why he didn't answer the question, because he actually didn't know. He doesn't know where the drugs come from. There's a reason that it's been able to escape Gallus, a crusader for justice and good, in this little city here, because... Not many people know how it all moves. Only okay. people who are buying should know. Yeah, only people who buy, sell, and distribute. Benson is none of those things. No, that's why. That's why I didn't say nothing to the zone of truth. Yeah. Uh, can you bring me to them, or at least tell me a few of their names? I gotta mark that still. Well, there's a little guy who likes to hang out around outside the tavern. He's a no. <laughs> Don't Ooh. worry, Noah. He's not coming back. This is just one of his friends. <laughs> I fucked not the mushroom yet. until we had more mushrooms. <laughs> and then there was more mushrooms, and I fucked them, and then there, they had more mushrooms. There's this little gnome that hangs out around the uh, that around the tavern. Noise. He doesn't usually go in, but I always see him talking to some people. So... Maybe you could uh, find some information there at the tavern. No. Mm. Well, I guess Just don't go causing trouble, son. Because he pulls out a dagger and he says, You don't want to taste my steel. I don't want to taste your mom. That's not bad at all, dude. Well, I mean, hey, he, he, he said he didn't want him to start trouble. Does he realize he's talking to a, a bard to to that the is gnome. the child of a god? Mm, so, so, you're going to the tavern, too. So, what are you doing? I was standing on the corner. Okay, you're, you're standing on the corner. You have been propositioned by a total of zero people. <laughs> why, why didn't Matt answer the question about where, do, where do, does anyone know where drugs are, where, um, anything about drug dealings? What was your answer, Matt? You can't deny it. You can't just not answer. Matt, it's pretty obvious since I'm smoking a blunt right beside you. He's already answered in a way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's I, a non-verbal answer. 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 The answer should have already been, you already know where mine comes okay, from. Okay, uh, so. Because I do at that Now, point, that since everything's uh, happened with the tavern, and uh, where were you going? I was in the market. Okay, so you're looking around in the market. Nothing strange is really happening in the market whatsoever. Um... It's almost as though drug dealers don't like to have their drugs dealt out open in the public. Why not? I mean, I wasn't necessarily looking for dealers. I was hoping to find someone who was buying. Yeah. Because buyers would be in the market. B buyers would I mean, be, the market be in the market to buy, but they may buy somewhere else and go to the market to buy their groceries. Maybe. But that's going Okay, then. So let's, let's head to the tavern scene. I'm just going to assume that you just got there. Yep. And you two are heading there. Now, here's the thing. Uh, give me a perception roll, Matt. Perception. Uh, uh, I, uh, I have an 8 in investigation, though. I only got 10. Uh, okay, then. So, um... Good. Yeah, uh, anyway... So, a noise. you all have arrived outside the tavern. You know, the usual sailors are walking around. Nobody's really suspecting anything. And then all of a sudden, you see this little guy standing around outside. Well, we're looking, uh... You're looking kind of thick! He is, he is kind of thick. He's a thick little guy. Yeah, not in the right places. He has a perpetual laugh. He looks like cotton. What? He <laughs> took my shins in Vietnam. He <laughs> took my shins in New Zealand. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah, kill Vinnie Man. But he does like have laughing. a perpetual <laughs> frown, and he does bear a strange resemblance to a certain gnome. Yeah, but he's not. Ruffy, is that you? He's just an extended relative. 
extended is a is a is the wrong term for that. Yeah. So he's standing around frowning. He was the bottom half of him while the other one was the top half of him. Yeah, right. Um yeah, yeah. I took off the Oh, there. but there is a thing though. He's standing there right next to the bar and you know, it would be very easy to walk up and talk to him, except this big old bastard is yelling at someone standing right next to him, and they look like they're about to piss their pants. That's nice hands, Batista. That's Gronk. <laughs> yeah, 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 Gronk. Yeah. <laughs> Gronk and Cotton. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So, what y'all gonna be doing? Uh... I'm going to go to Greta and ask her if she knows those two. Well, Matt, we're well, Greta is going to smile when you walk in and say, "Hello, handsome. How are you?" She says, leaning over the bar, showing just maybe a little too much tit, <laughs> just, just maybe a little. Okay, yeah. So, how are you? Yeah, she's getting all flirty with you. What, what's going on here? What's going on? Sorry, I just t- 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 tits. Yeah. Uh, anyway. anyway, um. Yeah, those th- those two. Uh, Which the one two? that has no uh, the one that has no kneecaps and the and dumb tatted up brute that's next to it. She immediately starts scowling at you. Do you know anything about him? Let me um, let me just just pull up the um, the. Uh... <clears throat> you notice anything? They're her family. Oh. I said tatted up brute. I uh, didn't say he, anything dumb. Yeah, you said he was a tatted up brute. Yeah. He looks like one. Well, she's a tatted, she's a tatted well, up cute. <laughs> here I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm not going to have you bad-mouthing my baby brother. Ah, baby brother. What so do you, you want? Do know something. What do you want? Just wanted to know them. You want the short one, don't you? Mm, depends. Your baby brother, while looking intimidating the way that he does, I assume it's not really uh, it's not really much of a problem around here. He seems actually kind of chill, but he is getting into a little argument. What if I just Ask him politely to calm down. In exchange, you tell me what I need to know about him and his partner. That way, look, no confrontation in the bars. Look, you gotta promise me you're not gonna hurt him. Hands up. No Put crossing. your hands down. Stop making a scene. The guards will see. No crossing fingers. Fine. Look, the man gonna be up if you can't fight back. When we first got here into we're town, here, we were just we were just kicked out of our old tribe. They were going through a hard time. Things weren't going well here. We had to do what we had to do to get by. I managed to find good work here at the bar, and then when this old owner passed on, I, I got to take care of it. But my little brother. He, li- he liked to keep to the old ways. He, he was a warrior at heart. And, 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 the, and when he was a boy in the tribes, that was fine. But they don't need a warrior like him here. And that's when that little gnome got, it, got to him. He, he did a little too much liar's dice. He racked up debt. He couldn't feed himself. I tried to get him to come work and stay here, but his pride was too great. That little bastard has something on just about everyone in this town. If you're going to take him down, you're going to have to take him down so that no one else will be touched by him. Do you understand me? And no one can know that I told you this, or my little brother would be put in danger. Now, Gronk may be a meatball, but he's my meatball. 
and I'm not going to have anyone hurting him. So whatever this is, you keep him out of it, and you tell him that his big buttercup doesn't want him to get hurt. I can respect that. Now get out of here. Thank you. Did, did we all hear that or only No, him? only him. He's the only one who went in. What are the rest of you doing? Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we're waiting. I'm waiting on him to come back. I'm just observing the area right I now. I told, while well, they were talking, I told him about what that the other guy told me. Okay. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I guess I meet up back with him. Okay, so you you came back and you were listening to everything with them, huh? Okay, so yeah, you're coming back, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're still standing around on the street corner. I'm just standing next to them. Okay, so you've come back to them. What are you doing? Uh, you're you're working in the forge with Chester, huh? Yeah. Well, we'll save you for last then. Okay, so you managed to come back, so please enlighten them. All right. So, and keep this on the down low and keep it as quiet as I can so nobody will notice anything. Don't make a scene or don't make any issues. But, that little bastard with, uh, you know, no shins McGee over there, he, uh, he pretty much has dirt on his And body. just before you can finish that sentence, you feel a knife in your back. It's not piercing into you. It's not killing you. You just feel the cold, sharpened steel of a knife pressed into your back. And you see a spotted muzzle slowly lean in and say, I think that's enough talk right there. How about you and your little friends come have a nice long chat with me and Gronk and Tina? Yeah, but go in the yeah. back alleyway. Yeah. Tina? Huh, that's her? Is that ain't that Tina? Uh, no, that's, that's Greta. That's, that's Greta. Okay. That's Greta the bartender. Hey, Tina. Hey, hey brother. Me? I think we get to have fun. Hey, Tina. Here. I'll wing up and watch. That it's sounds like a great idea. Of the fucking gnome? <laughs> oh. No! Uh, actually, no. He, he's not saying you're going to go have a talk with the leader because the leader doesn't care. See, remember how I said he has something on just about everyone in this town? Mm. That includes the guards that open the door to get into the barracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did he hurt you? I'm not worried at all. Okay, so, yeah. So he says, uh, let's step this way back behind the tavern. Sure. So who's all going back there? Just Me, my well, four of us, because he's at my the built thing like a semi no, five because of Cassie. I thought I got my yeah. way back. I nobody hit that. Yeah, yeah. Nobody <laughs> make any bad moves, or the rabbit gets it. And no, he oh, has dang. no idea what you actually are. That's why he's just saying the rabbit. I can yeah, really, I, know. I can I'm really like, fuck this situation, but I, I'm not going. My back. whole thing is like, you have a knight to my back. And I am insanely fast. Okay. He would stick it maybe like one centimeter into my fur, and I would like capoeira kick his head off. Okay, oh, so so is everyone going to listen to him, or... I'll listen to him. Okay, so you're yeah, going to follow well, let's the direction. go to the back alley. Yeah, okay then. So, uh, yeah, so you were all standing we right around down. here when yeah, Benson right. walked up and yeah. stealthily I put the knife to sure your back. I don't so he's just gonna Even lead you right in between the tavern and the barracks. Funnily enough, there are about three or four guards standing up on the wall, looking down at you and not saying a thing. And Pete, uh, and Pete looks over to Gronk, who's done making someone piss their pants, and sends him that way. So Gronk comes walking up behind him. <laughs> Uh, and helps usher you all down the down the alleyway, and then at the end of the alley, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me uh, let me pull up the last member of this little outfit. It's Tina the Warforged. What? She's a warforged. They're made of metal. <gasps> Yeah. Uh, By the way, those pigtails are actually made of razor-sharp steel. Yeah. Hey, 
and she free iron we can sell to the blacksmith. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, you've just been cornered by their enforcers. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so they lead you all down to the back alley. Help us there. And uh, they basically say, so, we heard you've been asking. uh, So, uh, Gronk says, so, we've heard you've been asking about Pete. Well, what do you want to know? And of course, Benson reaches over and says, Shut up, Gronk. I told you to stay out of it. You just wouldn't listen. Would Gronk you? is her brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Gronk is, is her brother. Benson, I think, is the gnome. Yeah, uh, no. Benson is the gnome. Pete the is the gnome. gnome, Tina's the warforged, Gronk is the orc. Benson, Pete, Tina, and Gronk. Yeah, yeah we, okay. can't, we can't. They're hurt part Benson of a criminal syndicate that's. You can't t- hurt Gronk. Yeah. You can't hurt Gronk, or else you're really going to piss off Greta. Right. Gronk and Greta. You hear that, Matt? No explosions. Man, I'm yeah. like on joining them. Uh, well, I get I'm, to kill my oh. brother. Okay, then. This is going to take an interesting turn. Let's see how this goes. Uh, so. He says, I told you not to get involved. And you, what are you doing here? Or rather, what do you think you're doing? I saw you walking out of the tavern. I'm just trying to get some work done. Oh, really? And he turns the knife towards you. Who assigned this work? That's for me to know and you to find out. I don't remember. Interesting. <laughs> I've done forgot. He licks his knife. A long canine tongue. I lick my shit his sword. sharp teeth. So, how am I going to get this info? At that moment, Tina steps up behind you and says, Maybe we should break it out of him. Break his legs. Like, I could sell it to the four. She's holding an axe in one hand and built in brass knuckles in the other. Um, I'm just saying they're full male armor, that's right. Uh, Yeah, right. Okay, so what are the rest of you doing while they're considering literally gang banging Buster? I'm just over here smoking, like usual. Just waiting to see what happens. I'm like, like, where am I? Shop River? A big hunky over that thing right here. So you're not doing anything? You're just sitting there trying to look intimidating? Yeah, I'm the sure. with me. Okay, what about you? Um, I want to cast Enhance Ability on Noah silently. Because it's a non-verbal one. You want to try and silent cast here. Okay, well, quiet just... cast. Hold on. Now, Charlie, something yes. you do have to realize is Quiet casting is a spell. Is a spell that I do not believe is actually part of the bardic class. I mean, no, no, we no, no, can no. double no, no, check. No, no. I'm not talking about doing quiet cast. I'm talking about I'm. I'm He's so casting. It's, it's not a verbal. It's not a verbal cast. What, what I'm saying is, mind. what I'm saying is that quiet casting mm-hmm. is actually a skill that you would have to get. I could literally look it up here. Okay. I well. don't think bards have the ability to do it silently. I can oh, have to play well, an instrument. Well, I'm still going to do um, enhance ability. Okay, so you're you're going to try to cast the spell, knowing that you may not be able to do it silently. Sure. Okay, go ahead. Never mind. I rolled a three. Benson turns and looks at you and says, "What you doing, little missy?" I was just trying to make sure he doesn't die as you break his legs. That way, you can keep pushing him later. Yes, join us. I can't lie if I—I I mean, I can't tell the truth. Otherwise, I'm gonna have my legs broken too. I get it. <laughs> just, I was just gonna just give you extra strength and charisma. It's I mean, really fun. I was gonna give you strength it, and it, constitution. It, 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 it's all good. It's all good. I was gonna double your health. Okay, just then. So with me. he's sitting there staring daggers at her, and he's like, "Well, fine, little Missy. Maybe we'll keep you around for later." Thank you. I'm like, well, hold on. Gonna rip you. I get up and say, hold <laughs> on. Me. That's my healer. Ooh, they're going to rip you. Mm, it's not going to be the kind she enjoys. Yeah. But I, like I got up and said, hold on. That's my healer, you old midgets. 
Perfect. I'm sorry, a robot, an orc, and a knoll who are all very good at uh, killing I people have Under literally Armin just, just said Great. that they're willing to kill him, and you think having a high AC Fine. is going to help. Yeah, sure. Shut and need I remind you, your bent sword is still back with Bam. I got... I got no fear. <laughs> Can we, is Bam at least learning to fix the sword? Uh, yeah. Let's take a I look over. Let's at take a brief pause right here well, so we can have try a and get this scene yeah, out. Yeah, I need my sword, yeah. please. Quickly, so man. you come walking into the forge at this point, completely abandoning your friends, yeah. just like this fox I has. Have no other ideas. <laughs> what? Have you even done anything? Jeez, well, no. No. Oh, Wait, are you Shit. disguised as a fox? I don't like that. It's like the only cat that really. Hates you know that yeah, they think that she's just an animal, right? Yeah, there's no playful scratches, and bites, but Moon does not play. You don't have front claws. Oh, for fuck's sake, Cassie! Why haven't you ran and told yeah, Dallas what the fuck's happened? Who's that? going on? Oh, okay. I guess I'll just... You're gonna fox right on out of there, yeah. and they're not gonna bat an eye, because they think you're just a dumbass uh, animal run, running around. I'm gonna run to the guard. Oh, I he's the cast... sexy one. Okay. Yeah, the sexy one with the, the bulging muscles and armor okay, and I'll, sword. I'll go run and tell him. Oh, so you go running in. Well, the guards are all looking at you like, what the fuck are you doing here, pervert? <laughs> I can cast hey, illusion. No. As a can Oh, yeah, because I'm not supposed to be near the barracks or nothing. Yeah, you're not supposed to, but they like, let you in anyway because you're working. And I'm like, I'm like, they go! <laughs> Who's <laughs> they? The ones doing the drugs. You really should have just told Gallus this because remember how I said there were guards watching everything? Where's Gallus? <laughs> uh, yeah, they say, uh, they say he's back in his office. Go. Yeah. So you go in there and you're, you're telling Gallus this, right? Yeah. You're telling Gallus... Who all was involved? Mm -hmm. And you're telling Gallus what's happening? Yeah. Oh, okay then. This is about to get real interesting. So, she's just narked on it, on literally the hey. whole syndicate. Hey. You're smoking <laughs> in the middle of this, Planning what's on about to be a murder fest. I'm planning on joining them. Now, what are you doing with Chester? You better fix that blade, man. I need I asked, it. It's a war going Ask him on. if he has any knowledge of blade fixing and footlock making. Footlock making? Uh, actually, son, I'm not very good at making weapons like that. I'm good at fixing weapons and making magical comms. <laughs> I'm not very yeah. good at making things like guns. Magical What's it, that? Just ask him to teach you it. So what, sure. What's magical construct? Magical constructs are special that. kinds of things like warforged and golems. You can, it, spell. I learned how to make them get when I was illusions. in Eberron long ago. But that was many years ago, son. I'm not yeah. even very good at mm -hmm. it, even from that. But I can teach you I what little I know. I'm trying. I request to learn what little he knows about madness. it. About okay, then. Blade. So. Uh, no, you can tell in character you know that, right? Of that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Walk to go so, to piss, to piss uh, the so he basically is. Um, she has built in brass knuckles. I have okay. brass knuckles. She has built in brass knuckles. She's holding an axe and she hey, has. Don't oh. listen to us. Yeah, we're, we're plotting over here. We're plotting here. over here. Back fine, on. fine, fine. Okay, so Chester the uh, basically takes you. T okay, anyway, Chester takes the you back behind the counter at, between all the. That's a bad guy! Between all the, you know, all the forge machinery, past the chains and everything, and he shows some basic diagrams and stuff sh showing how war forges are built and everything like that, and how, um, you know, how constructs can interact with magic in order to create uh, living machines in a way. However, he explained that even he does not know fully how to perform these acts and that the dwarves of Eberron were the ones who originally taught him the skill and that he was not a very good apprentice even then. So, uh, he's like, 
So yeah, this is this is basically all I know. Um, also, uh, gotta save his life. What's echoing? What's, what's that hanging on your back? Three seventeen. Okay. It's the sword you crafted. I would like oh. to get it fixed if you could teach me. That's not well. <laughs> well, <laughs> thankfully, okay. mending a sword is a it's service like, we uh, offer uh, here for free. It's around the corner. I'd yeah. like it if you would teach me how to do it while you make it. We'll fix it. Mm, so you want to learn to be my apprentice, hmm? Well, I suppose it won't do any harm to show you how to fix a blade. There are plenty in the streets. So, uh, this will take about two hours, by the way. Yeah. So, he goes to work showing you how to properly heat the forge, where to place the uh, sword to keep it from warping in the fire, and how to handle it and everything so that you can properly mend the weapon that has been bent beyond effective use. Yeah. yeah. So that's all well and good. And once he's complete, he returns the now mended sword to you. To you. Be careful. More misuse could actually render the blade unfixable, though. Because after enough damage, the metal becomes too warped and easy to break. Luckily, he's an artificer, and if he can learn how to make blades as well, he could just make a new one. Only if he has ten foot worth of steel. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can melt the blade itself. You gotta, you gotta, if he has a fire spell or something like how that. How tall is that we metal do. lady? <laughs> My what? How tall is what lady? How how metal lady? Well, Tina lady. is only covered in metal armor. Her oh. insides are made out of wood and stuff like that. Ooh. Warforged are made of equal parts alchemy, artificing... And uh, blacksmithing. Basically, warforged are like a love letter to the crafting arts. Yeah. Uh, and they were made as soldiers for Eberron. You never told us the damage that his sword does. Uh, the giant sword, yes. I believe that does the same as a great axe um, 2d8. And now, uh, what's the range? Uh, I believe it's like. It was, it's an eight-foot sword. Six so. foot? Yeah, so six, six foot. foot. Yeah, six foot range on it because about that's two right. foot, a, a foot and a half of that's going to be handled. Yeah. And, you know, you can't really effectively strike far out with it without losing balance. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so you learn to fix the sword and all that. And then I uh, go looking for my... You go looking for your friends. Okay, then. So... While well, you're all sitting there having a standoff with uh, the three enforcers, Pete has fled the scene and has gone into hiding somewhere. Now, so at this point, Benson's sitting there pointing the knife at you. Me? Yeah. Uh, Tina is standing right behind you, and Gronk is right next to the elephant. Nobody's uh, watching him at the moment. And I then you in. hear shouting from inside the barracks. Gallus is pissed as hell. And all manner of fuckery has broken loose. Uh, I'll step in. I want to say, let me break And the... then I'm guessing you reach the end of the alleyway right over here and see what's going on. Talking about play, boy. I want to step in before anyone else makes, makes another move. And I want to say, let me break the bunny's legs. Benson is absolutely confused by this. Let me let me prove Roll my loyalty. Roll for persuasion. Let me prove my loyalty. Roll Matt, for please. persuasion. Matt, read your messages. I would also like to break his legs. Are you using the cell phone to covertly talk between? You them? read your messages. I rolled a nine plus a uh, bardic inspiration plus seven. Well, I got nine plus seven, so that's sixteen anyway. Yes, that's good enough. What All are right. you doing? I'm breaking his legs. You're and rolling I'm, strength <laughs> to break his legs. No, I'm casting have... illusion. Oh, illusion. Okay, now you give me a performance. No, no, he, he will believe it if I if I cast correctly. Yeah. He will believe he I will broke believe his it. legs. Is the idea. Trying to... <laughs> I'm trying not to hurt you. Okay. He's she's trying to make you I'm believe she like just broke you. your legs with magic. Mm. That way they don't mm. attack you and you get away to uh, give me an intelligence save. I need him to believe it. Yeah. Until my spell breaks. And what's stopping him from punching you when he does? You mean his broken legs. <laughs> You're standing in a close huddle in an alley. Uh, 
What? Nat 20! Yes! Oh, That's you're very bad. smart. You know what the fuck's going on almost immediately, and so you try your best to play along. So, yeah, I'll play along. I cast Minor Illusion. I roll a 14 plus my Charisma, which is going to be Don't worry, four. it's good enough. That's 18, and I don't need your yeah, party inspiration. I'm just then. over here. Finally, that bunny got what he deserves for snooping. I and swing my it. scepter at him. You're next. I swing my scepter at him and almost touch his legs, but make it look like I did, and... He collapses down to the ground, believing his legs are broken and hopefully tricking everyone else. Hold on. I had to use my small 20 to actually get Hold the phone. Damn, these weighted, these, not these uh, metal dice don't roll. Hold the phone. There. I saved your life, and I'm helping Matt, and we still have Hold to the phone. Charlie. Charlie, I want to do harm to you for no reason. Why? For no reason. I hey, hurt Lita. nobody though. I know. I said That's that. my whole point. Is I'm not allowed to hurt anybody. I said wait, no wait, 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 Guess what? Guess what? Sorry. No, guess what? Yeah, no. Guess what? All of the West are part. We just broke his legs though. So wait till the spell ends, and y'all all know it's all a trick. Uh, well, I'm not even I'm I'm you that broke? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll break yours next. I'm not even there. Wait a minute. Um. Hmm. Huh? We need water. Let uh, me uh not really. No. Let no, me not. do a little roll here. <laughs> Charlie. Yes. So Benson and Gronk are both horrified to see what you've done. They're like, why would you break his legs? That doesn't make any sense. And then you feel a very cold hand on your shoulder. Tina leans in and says, because she didn't. Tina is a warforged and therefore doesn't have the part of your brain that's fooled Uh. by illusion magic. <laughs> this is bad. I was not aware. Of <laughs> this is bad. But at this point, Gallus has made it up to the upper ramparts and has dismissed the two guards that were looking over this for their absolute failure and has shouted down, "Everyone, stay where you are! Thank God, you're not getting out of here alive!" Uh, obviously, he said that to the criminals. Right? Yeah. In you. Yeah. Hey, fucker. I'm not a criminal. So, I didn't actually hurt him. Roll for initiative! <laughs> yeah. Baby, uh, give me my sword. Give me my sword. I'm, I'm, I'm not in the fight, am I? Yeah, you're not in the fight, no. Come on, man. Wait, what about me? Ah, of course I am. Yeah, I got a toy! Wait, am I in the fight or no? Yeah, you're, I'm trying you're to join in, them. Uh, you can join the fight. Right. I got a natural 20? Beat that! Um, I'm attacking first. Okay, then, so look. Hey, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. Quiet, quiet down. Everyone just do your roll. Give me a second so I can write all these names down. Remember. I gotta keep track of literally. What over- about him who thinks his legs are broken? Or sorry, he knows that they. He knows they're not. Okay. He knows what you're capable of doing. He so, has a smart mind, isn't so, that right, Mister Bunny Man? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I guess if we're already caught, means I guess you have to also. Roll. I openly. Even though I'm not the fight, can I do an attack and it comes a sneak attack. Well, you said you were going back to your friends, right? Yeah, then you said I saw them in the, at the edge of the alley. Yeah, you, you're standing <laughs> at the end of the alley. No one even knows you're here yet. You could do some sneak attacks. Yeah. But first things first, let me get their initiatives down, and then we can worry about your sneak attack. Okay? So, uh, let me uh, let me write down all the people here. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my dough. That's funny. Oh, my leg. Add your initiative. Initiative? What's my initiative? Oh, my foot. What's my initiative? Middle. Ah. I'm gonna do oh, this? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got 21. I also have 21. I'm gonna do this now. Plus my initiative bonus, I've got a 14. Okay. Can you do this? Mm-hmm. No, what'd you roll? No, oh, I, I rolled a 21. You can't read your stuff, so just do it. Okay? Hmm. Three That's people rolled 21. I can't read it. That's me. Dang. Now I feel less special. Okay, then. So. Now, let me let me see here. So, what was yours? 14 with my bonus. Okay. Okay, Noah? I rolled 21. Okay. Okay? 21. Okay. I'm on the Okay, not the fight. 21. Okay, wow. Why um, did Matt roll if he wasn't in battle originally? 
don't know. Hey, look, he's part of the group. He's going to get attacked in this fight. Okay. I mean, seriously, the guards were just dismissed. Gallus has just declared war on the drug cartel. And, yeah, shit's about to hit the fan big time. Um, yeah. Let me roll for Tina, Gronk, and Benson. Well, we need to protect that one guy that the orc girl doesn't want to get hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't hit him at all. Why about the guard starts to hit him? I don't care. Do I you know, it's protection? funny. No one told Gronk the special words. What special words? Oh, yeah. He never he told was, us. Nobody said anything, did they? Not yet. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm confused. Also, that I, haven't said, no yeah, I haven't said anything because he never got a chance to really talk. It was the hyena. Well, the hyena's talking, but he told Gronk to shut up because Gronk is dull-witted. He's not very smart. Yeah. He's rather naive. Matter of fact, he only does this because he thinks it's doing the right thing. Gronk doesn't really know what's right. Well, so, cool. he's basically like Slog from um, the Goonies. You're from the Goonies. Maybe you should tell him something. Yeah. You didn't tell us what she told you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is about my dice, but I think they may be cursed, because the only one that rolled anything half decent for initiative is Gronk. They all rolled a 21. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Everyone else rolled great. So, uh, mm -hmm. who's rolling? Who's going first? Three, okay, two, then. One. So, here's how the order's going to go. Uh, I say the bunny goes I'm going to say the bunny, then you, then the elephant. Okay? So, the order's going to be Noah first. Well, your turn. You better tell that man what she says. Okay, yeah, he gets to make his own decisions. I hope so. Yeah. Okay, then Gronk goes forth. Then uh, Charlie goes fifth, Tina goes sixth, and Benson must have fucking drew the short straw because he goes seventh. Uh, let me write down their stats for this. A major problem, actually. Why? I've only got one level two spell left. Yeah, because oh, y'all have not been taking long rests. Yeah, I, took, I, took I only have one. I only need a short rest in order to you know, get I all my spells back. I only have yet. one level mm -hmm. one spell. Okay, so I have all okay. My okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me get out. Well, I'm no, get I stop. No, I did not. Because I couldn't do that. Well, I used Enhance Ability and Zone of Truth, which are both level two. And the last other spell I did were cantrips. I took a nice nap. You win. So when I went to the barracks by my... He did take a, a nap. The bunkhouse by myself. And yeah, but 20. you haven't used any spells to have I know, to but I still took a good nap. <laughs> You're right. But that's Maybe why. you should have took a good nap. Yeah, like I did. I was trying to find the <laughs> drug right, Matthew, dealer. See that metal tab at the end there? Pull it back. Ah. Yeah, these are heavy duty. Thankfully, everyone on here you already know about, so it won't hurt me pulling these out. Can turn things. Oh, I can turn things into magic items. Yes, you can when you have things to turn. Huh. Hey, you should hold me and turn me. Turn you. I'm gonna turn you into. A, yeah, you know, turn out that whore. <laughs> into. Uh, I can't think turn of me into butter. I can't think of what it's called. Cum? <laughs> no, it's. Well, come into the cum, I don't know. You already turned your banana into cum, so. Yeah, yeah. I was over here doing this. Should be the sand out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. Uh, You're milking up all it got. I can't think what it's called. After this fight, I actually end up getting home. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That's but fine. you'll be alright. It's all right. nearly 5 anyway. The time up there is an hour off. Oh. Well, it's 4.30? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. I wrote that a minute ago when Noah yeah, asked. 30. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, that, that explains why it seems to be going so slow. Okay, uh, so. For me. It is 4.30. Oh. So, so you were planning on doing a sneak attack. Okay, uh... I'd like to know how far away they are from me. They're about ten feet. You ten even feet. Break your legs. Who's the furthest away from them? Okay, the one on the right uh, right far ah. side of the... Okay, wait, hold on. Let's let's arrange these. Let's arrange these here. Yeah, this will give you a good idea. Okay, this is the rabbit. Let's say that this one's Tina. Let's say this one is Charlie. Charlie. Gronk is standing right over here. Uh, this is Cassie's character, right? No, wait, this is you. This is you. Uh, you're standing right over here like an idiot. Okay? That's my That Okay, so this one is yours. Yeah, you're standing right over here. Okay? Uh, this is Casey, so she's not even on the board. 
And on the on, ball. <laughs> what about me? Casey's in here. Okay. Mm. And then she's right over here. And of course, there's up here at the top of a large wall. Notice I haven't used is the book. You can't blame me for shit. My time, my kid. No, our back. Elizabeth left us a surprise all over it. I had to pick out. And then, let's see here. So there's Tina, there's Gronk, and I'm guessing this right here. Is Benson. So this is how things are. Oh, right. Uh, let's see, which one are you? This was me. Oh, that was. You. Okay, then we can fix that. Don't worry. I have another figurine. So you're standing right here, then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And. Yeah, those are the textures. <laughs> and that would be. Gronk. Gronk. Poor Gronk has no horns. Well, yeah, that's my old figurine. Okay then, so let's get this clusterfuck of a party started. <laughs> so the closest one is Gronk. Is Gronk? <laughs> and we can't the kill Bob. The furthest one away is Tina, all the way over here. Isn't she's there not, one with a knife in my back? She's yes. not twenty feet. No, away. she's the one holding the axe. She also has her hand on your. No, shoulder. that's a cash. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a cash. No, I'm moving it. Yeah, please do not have your throat seize up because you're eating my trail mix. I would hate to have to cut your throat open. Yeah, that's fine. Okay then, so, uh, what are you doing here? None of them are 20 feet away, are they? They're all closer than that? Yeah, they are all about 10 foot from you. So chill out. Just sneak chill, up and give me my right sword. Uh, Let the bunny talk first. Yeah. You can do this anytime. Just chill. Can I be able huh? to sneak up behind him without them knowing? Or is, do I have to roll for stealth? You'd have to roll for stealth. No. I'm alone for now. I'm going to sit back there and watch. Okay, then. So this you're not doing anything. Drop first drop things right first. Noah, what you doing? I look over at Brock. And I, I say, talk. Hey, Meatball. Buttercup said not to hurt you. Brock's face immediately turns to one of anger confusion, and sadness. Mm. He says, she said mm. she doesn't want he stopped, to be he's, hurt. He's, think, he's looking silently for a moment, and then he turns his view to Benson. Changing plans. <laughs> Gronk joins the other team. <laughs> Wait, join us? Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, boy! Boom! The power oh, of brother and sister love! Oh, I yeah! I do nothing for all! Then, then, then it! Wait for one. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so. Uh, was that your action for this turn? Like uh, no. Okay. Where, uh, where am I located? You are right here. And where's Tina? Right there. Uh, I'm gonna turn to Tina, and I'm gonna slip on my brass knuckles. Okay. I'm gonna try and use a and deliver a hard left. Okay, roll for uh, Lefty, roll for breaking the AC. That's uh, your dice roll plus your proficiency bonus. Yep. Plus strength. Plus the initiative proficiency bonus. Yeah. So that's nineteen. You brought the armor class. I broke the metal, bitch. Uh, you hit her. Okay, you hit her. Now, how much is this supposed to do? So, with the added brass knuckles, it is um, 1d4 added to uh, bludgeon, which I used just only one fist with one punch. So, it's a total of 2d4 of damage. Roll 2d4. Why one. Didn't, why didn't you give it all one, two? Four. Okay, so... So basically, five. you just dealt five damage to two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. I was flapping my dick and balls on the table. Stop there. There's nothing there. Okay then. That would be under dexterity. And okay, so. I also have multi attack. Okay, so you're going to do it again? Mm -hmm. This time. I'm going to go for 
Let's see. You bastard. I'm going to go with... I'm going to activate Rage. I ate all the chocolate chips out of it. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, Rage. Okay. That is a You're bonus. going to activate... Wait. You have Rage? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were Fire. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, bonus advantage on strength checks and their and melee attacks. Uh, Charlie, I stop get, rubbing your nipples. I get an additional three hit die. Wow. Oh. So I'm going to activate Rage. So I'm going to swing again with the right hook. Old one two. Yep. I that I had to roll over at the armor class. Yeah. Uh what did you roll? Six plus three plus another three. Hard eight. inspiration. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough for roll that. Roll a D eight. Roll a D eight. Hard uh, inspiration. How many times can you use that use that for long rest? Because I know you've already five, used it once. Five times. Five okay. times once per level. I rolled a six. Okay, uh, that should be enough to break the armor yes, I, I class. Another That's my second one. Well, it was three plus three plus six, so it was nine, twelve total, plus the, I guess that's six, that's eighteen. Right, so, now, here's the thing about that. <sighs> Two bards on a party is kind of overpowered, ain't it? As a result of your attack. Mm-hmm. Tina does something very unexpected. She activates her spring boot upgrade. So she gets a legendary action? Actually, yes, she does. As an attack of opportunity. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, she jumps 50 feet straight up. <laughs> How's that a attack of opportunity? In response to his second attack, Charlie. Okay. Please understand. Tina jumps up. 50 feet in the air. Now, she's going to be up there while you're punching, so that second damage, unfortunately, would not arrive. How many legendary actions can she get? She really only gets that when she has an opportunity. She's been struck once, she's aware of it. She's not going to be able to do this again. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so, now, uh, do you have any more attacks this turn, Noah? Uh, that was my only attack. Okay. I only can do two per turn. Okay. Now, so, yeah. just now, just realize, for right now, she is in the air. So the next two people that move will not be able to attack Tina. Okay. So that got her away yeah. from me. Yeah, that got her away from you at least, because she was about to sink that axe right in the back of your head. <laughs> Like, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next person who would be next, and Tina is down to 25 HP, by the way. Yeah. Uh, now, the next person is you. So what is she made of again? Tina? She's made of metal and wood. And how high did she jump? 50 feet. I'd like oh, to use heat metal on her, which is 60 feet. They're not covered in... I, I eat almonds. And she is made of metal, and her cashews are really weird nuts. Cashews ain't even real nuts. They grow from fruit. Like you said. Let me take a look at her damage resistances. What are you trying to do now? Heat metal. She's made of metal, and her insides are made of wood. Huh. We're going to turn her into a sword. <laughs> We're gonna melt her down and turn her into iron. You know, it's very curious. Um, you talked about uh, you were sitting there inside the forge, working uh, with a guy who was very good at ma making things like oh no constructs. Wouldn't it be very you strange to learn guys. where a strange war forge came from, oh. one that wasn't working for the dwarves of Eberron? Oh. He's a construct. If she's, but isn't she well made? He said he wasn't good at doing it. Do you get it? Do you it's really think tree. she's that well made? I don't know. She had a legendary action. I don't know what that is. Charlie doesn't even know what a legendary action is. He wouldn't be saying. No, I know what a legendary action, action is. Is that you said it comes at a, at attack of opportunity? Well, normally attack of opportunity comes when someone's either running past you, trips, or is fleeing away from you. That's normally an attack of opportunity. Basically, Otherwise, it's an in-response move. Yeah, an in-response move to someone going past yeah. or okay. away from you. The me. point is I, I misused my words. I know, you, you did a uh, evasion legendary action. Basically, something like that. Okay, 
since I'm not in the battle, can I back up and then do an attack from a certain distance? Can I back up 10 feet and then do an attack that's 20 feet away? Yeah, I guess. Can I, so... If uh, you have something within that range, that could do that. I have, to, tra- I have to travel... Time. No, I'm not attacking her. There's two other people, isn't there? But look, if before. you're going to join this battle at this point, you, you got to respect the initiative at this point. What's that? Well... I already know what it is. Do I have to wait for everyone? Yeah, you'd have to wait to do this now. Because it's already started. We can't stop this now for you. Okay, Uh, okay. so um, let's see here. That would be you. So you're going to try and cast Heat Metal. Yep. Go ahead. (laughs) You did that. Four plus. Bam. I'd like to use my inspiration. Okay, again. That's my first inspiration I've used. Oh, you're using an inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope you roll bad. <laughs> Here, Charlie, Charlie. If I don't do it, I need bardic inspiration. Does it say anything about damage? What, what is it you're doing? Does it say it anything does about say, damage? It does say about damage. If creature is holding the said object, it must succeed a constitution throw or drop item if held. Has this advantage on attack and ability until my next turn? It's 2d8 <laughs> fire damage. So how does it handle that when it's literally made of the metal? It does not say. <laughs> it does not say. I know. So, so cast. I got even worse to roll. Okay, then. So... Bardic Inspiration. Wait. Okay, no. no. You are not pulling this shit. I mean, we technically we can. Ah, fuck. Because he can't cast it on himself. Look, you cannot keep re-rolling. This is the second. No, no, no. no. Okay, no, no, no. I'm, not, not I'm making it's, a new GM roll. A uh, new GM no, no, roll. It's not a re-roll. It's a plus eight. Yeah. Uh, if he okay, gets fine. Try a plus eight, eight then. Roll. Which one's a plus eight? An eight-sided dice. You dumb fuck. I don't know which one that is. Oh my god. That one. one. I just got a six plus twelve. God damn it. Eighteen. Wait. Six. Roll two d eight. Eighteen. Two d eight. I can only do those five times because I'm at level five, but I can't cast it on myself. I can only cast it on others. And it's not a spell. It's a um, proficiency in skill. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Dana's down to 15. Wouldn't it do more damage since our insides are wood? Uh, no. She doesn't have and a weakness does to wood. And it does do fire. No, she doesn't have a weakness to fire on. How does that make sense? It makes she perfect sense. She's insects, the construct. She is a construct. Warforged are tech... Look, I really should have looked up more about how Warforged react to fire. Excuse me for not looking up this extremely specific example. Anyway... Yeah, how did he know we were supposed to, we were going to try and burn it? Yeah. Considering she's inside. covered in metal armor. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. Who's next? That would be Josh. He, he does not okay. have a ranged attack. Who is the one no, that can attack? Could, he could give someone a buff. You can either attack Benson or Gronk. Gronk's with us now. So Gronk is with us now, but he may not know it. Well, he just straight up. You remember you had him say that. He, I said Gronk. Ch- I didn't actually say he changed. I'm just saying that Gronk is now fighting on your side. I want to use my white hammer on Bitson. That's 1d8-4. I mean, 1d4. Okay, then. So, you're going to use your hammer on Benson. White hammer. Your what hammer? Light. Light hammer. Okay, you're using your light hammer. I don't know what the hell that is, but okay. Okay. Try and break the armor class. Okay. I got off. Yeah, I didn't break it. Okay, you did not break the armor class. What, what did you roll for? A plus one, that'll be a five. Okay, yeah, you did not break Benson's AC. Okay, so and that's the only thing you have for this turn? You can't do anything else now? Uh, You're a paladin. I know for a fact that paladins can do something. I think he has to kill the attack in order to use a second attack. I mean, that wasn't the way mine was, but okay. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, if he doesn't have multi-attack at this level, then that's fine. I don't know, you'd have to read I had extra attack. Okay, now. It's Gronk's turn. Where'd my turn go? Your fucking turn got overstepped by Gronk. Gronk had an AC at 18. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Gronk was always ahead of you. I missed that. Yeah. Okay, then. So, let's see here. 
Yeah, uh, Gronk proceeds to attempt to tackle Benson. He has a plus four war belt of grappling. Uh -huh. Heavy dice. Let's see. That's 12 plus eight. So he just got a 20. Uh, yeah, Gronk is down. Just knocked Benson prone. <laughs> Benson now has disadvantage on anything related to movement, dexterity, or attack rolls, and uh, I believe just took 10 damage. So let me mark down 10 damage from Benson. Okay, next turn would be Charlie. Yay. Okay. I really don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Heal Benson. Huh? Heal Benson. He ain't damaged. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he just got hit by. Yeah, he just got knocked <laughs> prone by Gronk. Oh. Isn't Gronk on our team, though? Yeah. Benson just got knocked prone by Gronk. But Benson's against us. Wait, right. Benson just got knocked prone by Gronk. Uh huh. And Tina is up in the air. And he doesn't have any attack. That's the thing. Oh. All of my So films. you're a useless piece of shit that exactly. can't do anything when someone else isn't attacking. Congratulations. No, no, I, I'm a full support. He's full of, he's attack, I'm support. I'm full attack. That's why we're the twins. So what you gotta do? I've gotta support somebody. Wait, is this guy on our side or is he the enemy? Or is he, <laughs> okay, he's, he's Benson he's just got knocked us. prone. Gronk is now helping us because yeah, 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 of yeah, what yeah. Noah said. Okay? Okay, so the so, enemy got wrong. So basically, it's Charlie's turn. What's Charlie doing? Wasn't there someone else here? No. No? It's only the two? Well, that's I mean, like technically Gallus is yelling from up on the ramparts, but he can't do that jump. He'll break his legs. I ain't, yeah, but he's not going to hit us, so I ain't worried about him. Yeah. Um, one's prone, one's in the sky, which is hurting. Yeah. Hmm. I think Alex is right. I'm absolutely useless right now. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't do anything that would be of any use at this point. Um, I guess I could do motivational speech. Yes. Level 3 spell. What? What is the effect? Doesn't matter. You failed. Yeah. Uh, motivational speech gives everybody like an extra 5 to their health. Including people who... Yeah, extra, extra 5 um, to their health. To it's people you choose. Yes. Five creatures. You okay. Um, up to five creatures, but yes. Okay, so it's not just anyone who hears it. Gotcha. No, it's only up to five creatures of my choosing. Okay, then. Okay, so with that... Oh, look at that. It's Tina's turn. No, no, it's Benson's turn. Uh, Benson Florida. tries to get up. No, I can't, no, he can't do it. Okay, then. Um, now, let's see here. So, Benson tried to get up and failed, so he could not get out of prone. He has disadvantage on attacks and defense at that point. Uh, minus two to AC. Um, so, now it's Tina's turn. Tina's in the air, so isn't she? Or Tina's is she coming there? down. Oh! Oh! <laughs> It goes up and must come down eventually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she jumped 50 feet straight up. Well, Those spring you know, boots of hers. Uh, let, let, me, let me go ahead and just bring Tina. Ah, Tina. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you forgot the... Um, the fact that she was holding weaponry. Yeah. So, Tina's been hurt, but thankfully, she's not dead. And now she's coming down on her turn, and she is, of course, going to target... <sighs> Oops. 
you. Okay. Yeah. Why me? Mainly because you tried to pull that little trick. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't like you, man. Okay. So, Tina is going to, let's see here. Ah. So, she's going to do an unarmed attack with her built-in brass knuckles. That means... Oh, shit. Yeah. <clears throat> she has a strength. Yeah, okay. Uh, AC was 14, by the way. Oh, fuck. This is going to be bad. <laughs> That's why I said I was just yeah. <laughs> That twenty. No, it's a five. Thank God. Yeah, five plus two plus five. No, that's not gonna be enough. Uh, so apparently Tina came down trying to crush you, and just barely missed. So Tina's back on the ground and back in a vulnerable state. Cassie, you wouldn't want to do anything from up there on the ramparts, would you? No. No. Nah. Okay. Down. Shoot your bow. Oh, oh, throw a knife. Whip out your dick. Yeah, Benson's still down. It's kind of more mate. fun watching y'all suffer. Yeah, she yeah. came down. Yeah. Is this her? Yeah. 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 None of us have took any damage. You are down here. Yeah, no, what I'm are just, you doing? I'm trying to think. Why don't you just punch something? You, you are told a fucking... To you told me to wait. I didn't tell you to wait. You told me to wait for initiative. Yeah, well, then go ahead. Your initiative's up. What the fuck you doing? I'd like to um travel 20 feet and perform a horn attack. After twenty, I'd like to. Move Who are you performing horn attack on? Uh, her. I'd have to. I don't do a horn attack. After traveling twenty feet, I, I think do one. you'd be able to uh, to rush through there so long as you're careful not to hit Gronk. Okay. Or me, and I get to do I my mean. pretty horn attack, and I'm going to be doing. Okay, then. So first, you got to roll to break the AC. Yeah. So I, wait, that's not. That's a net twenty. I just did. You just rolled a net twenty. Okay. You just rolled a nat 20, rushed in, did a horn attack, okay? Is, so what is it? What is this here? It throw it, um... It's charge, right? I hit her, and it throws her 10 feet away, and does a save... That's on a charge a, attack, yes. Save 8 plus strength, or something like that. Charlie, could you do me a favor and look this up? Yeah, thank you. It, it's called, uh, hammering horns. Hammering horns, okay. I is that really what it's called? Yeah. After moving 20 feet, I gotta do, I do a free horn attack. And that's what uh, the horn attack well, is. You, you definitely broke the armor class. You've done bonus damage to it. Alrighty, uh, so... Read it up. It sounds like it's raining. It just it said it was. Oh. Immediately after you hit a creature with a melee attack as part of the action... Attack action on your turn. You can use a bonus action to attempt to shove that target with your uh, horns. That's not what he's talking. What he that means, is though. that is legit. What hammer? He just is. charged yeah, for twenty hammer. foot, man. He's doing a basic charge. I know attack. that that's not. He just said the, the thing was hammering thing. horns. I am saying what hammering horns. Yeah, he got the wrong. That was called thing. um, goring lash. Goring well, rush. Okay, goring rush. Yes. Immediately after you dash, um. Dash on your turn and move at least 20 feet. You can make one melee attack with your horns as a bonus action. After that, he could technically yeah. use the hammering horn. When okay, then. So, use. Okay, so first, roll. Uh, okay, you roll to break the armor class. Roll for damage for the goring lash. No, using the correct dice. Uh, what are your correct dice for your horns? You need to have this written down. 1d6. Okay, roll 1d6. Uh, you broke the one. armor class. Now you get to do 1d6. Four. Four. Okay, four damage. Okay, Tina's down to 12. Now you're using hammering horns, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you doing with that? Okay, so what, what, is hammering, what did hammering horns say? After a melee attack, I can throw them 10 feet away and do a saving something plus strength. Let me pull it back up. Yeah. No, yeah, saving didn't... something doesn't tell me. Anything. Oh no, it looks like oh, save it's, eight. It's, it's eight, eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your strength modifier to push it up to ten feet away. Okay. It's so, a minimum of five up to ten. Yeah. Okay, so in other words, he needs to roll what in order to do that? A d20. Okay, just roll it, a d20. It's a standard saving check. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Plus strength. So let's let's just let yeah, plus your proficiency 20, bonus as well. Yeah. Plus strength. Okay, so she is now ten foot back this way. What she now? has been knocked back. What, wait, weren't we right beside the river? No. No. 
Is she out We of were the up against a wall. Oh, so she's against the wall now. Yeah, she got but smacked she, into a wall. I want to take her alive. Take more damage in the huh? wall? I want to take her alive. Why? Because no. she's in um. He might be able to take over her. Well, take her. No. You, you can, can kill her and then do that. Let's take a bleed back to our body. She's a warforged. Fucking stop arguing. Just kill, Let, just kill. Let's go. Okay, let's see you're here. Fire, so you can fix her. Noah, you're next. Okay, so Gronk just made you an opening here, Noah. Benson's sitting around like a dumbass, and yeah. So what what you gonna do? I'm gonna go towards Benson. Okay, so you're right in front of Benson right now. What the fuck are you doing to I'm him? I'm gonna go for a reckless attack. Okay, do a reckless attack. What we got here? The first attack causes more damage. It has a strength boost proficiency, and it increases after each hit. What's the damage? Damage is doubled. No, no. What, one D four. Okay, it's a one D four doubled, so it would be a D eight. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. But it gets decreased by one after each attack, so it's essentially eight punches. Okay. Yeah. So roll to break the AC. Okay. Should be hard. Uh, well, I, oh, okay. Yeah, it landed weirdly. It was a fifteen. Okay, you broke the AC. Roll for damage. Okay. All right, so the first uh, one is this D4, uh, D8. I'll just roll four D8s. So, seven. Mm-hmm. Seven again. Mm-hmm. Six. Okay. Don't even have to keep going. Oh, he's dead? Yeah. Damn, uh, you beat him to death. Yeah, you, you knocked destroyed Benson. him. Yeah, you beat the absolute bejesus out of Benson. Yeah, so Benson's down. He's out for the count. Cross him out the list. Can he at least keep punching the Benson dead was... <laughs> let me see here. He was only a CR1, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. Did he even get to attack? No. Benson <laughs> never actually got to attack. That's the funny thing. Okay, so... Now, um, let's see here. Okay, so Tina's down to 12 health, and she's been, uh, she's been knocked back considerably here. Uh, Gronk is still perfectly good. Okay, so this would be your turn. All right. Yeah. Yeah, what, what you doing, mister? Wanted to join the drug company? What, what you doing here? I mean, I am. My guy is based around drugs. I mean, you can, like, we're all in a way. We're all in a way. I guess I'll use heat metal again. Nine. Uh, does it say you have to have direct line of sight? No, it does not. Okay. It just says... You heat, you like heating through it? Or is it? 60 feet. Okay. No. There's a 14 hit. I have caught. Uh, 14 casting? Yeah, casting. No. Okay, then. I can finish this one. That's fine. Okay, then. Okay. So, um... done now. Yeah. Uh, no? Tina's still alive. Uh, let's see here. Torin, then it is... Josh. What you got? Well, so I use my light hammer again. On who? The robot girl. Uh, you can't move that far. Huh? I can move 30 feet. She's over 10 feet away, but you would have to move, move. through the rest of your people. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a speed. penalty on that to say it's 15 at most. So you I have 30. He does you're not, my leg was fixed. Yeah, but you're not listening. What I'm telling you is you are in an alleyway. She's cutting your movement in half because of all the people nearby. Exactly. You're literally you going to have to barge through both Bam and Noah in order to get all the way over here, and that's going to exhaust your movement speed by that. So it would be 15? Yeah, basically. And how far away is she? Uh, literally about 15. <laughs> yeah, so you still make it. I'm still making Yeah, but he's just moving no, you through did his 15 turn. In this, at this turn. Yeah. You had to go through everybody. Your speed was cut in half. Yeah. Or not, your movement was cut in half. Because he would make it there, but he couldn't attack. Yeah, he'd make it there, but he wouldn't be able to attack. Yeah, I'll still do that, even though I can't attack. Because I have 22 on Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm a meat shield. Yeah, okay. Because Bale still has my sword. Anyway, next turn. Oh, it's Gronk. Let's see what Gronk has for us here. 
Gronk's movement speed is 30. Uh, unfortunately, he can't really do much. So he's just going to take a step back or two here and hold Benson, basically. Benson's okay. dead, isn't he? Uh, Benson's unconscious. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll knock the potatoes out of Benson. Okay. Half to death. Yeah, half to death, basically. Uh, let's see yeah, here. Pass me my sword. Okay, I'm so next best. would be... Uh, turn. Yeah, Your turn. I guess I'll for you got me. nothing you can do. This is so true. I'm mining for her, too. Oh, I might just use my bare fist and more to him. Speaking of which, I need you to roll initiative. Oh, yeah, me. Charlie. Yeah, because you joined the fight. I have one uh, healing. Uh, yeah. So you can have one attack. Twelve. I'm no, because that breaks my whole entire roll. Actually, no. no. The whole thing. No. You will be I'm next. I'm going to take damage. Oh, yeah, you body. will be next. Um, has Tina already had her turn? She will be last. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... um. Enhance ability on Josh since he's right there next to her. I'm gonna brutally beat her up with my bare fist. I'm not gonna use my weapon. I'm just gonna use bare no bare fist. I rolled a seven plus my plus four, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. She said object. I'm cast. So you tried to cast eleven. Eleven. I don't think eleven. I don't think you Okay then. So next bound, your move. Where's what you got? Black dice. Is she her own being or is she being controlled? She is her own being. Could uh, Warforged or sentient? Could I consider her to, um, could I talk her down to one. surrendering? No. 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 Yeah. Yes, no. <sighs> no. Unlike Gronk, who has a familial bond, she was made to be a soldier. Is there a way I can take her captive? Son. I don't think so. No, it's Dude, kill her. Just kill fine! Her. Just kill her God damn, man. Sense. You've been Just so aggressive this Give session. Give me my sword. Last session, you kicked ass. This session... I don't know. I don't know. Give me my sword. I'm going to burn Joshua and her. <laughs> fine. <laughs> why not? What? What? Okay. 2d4 what, what acid, 30 cast on. I mean, okay. 30 range. Okay, so you're within 30 feet here. Yeah. Um, roll the cast. Which is uh, d20? Yeah. Uh, that is a fail. Yeah, okay a, then. So uh, next it's up is. Is it her turn now? Tina. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's armor class. It's a key, like a twenty-two armor class. Yeah. What's your AC? Twenty-two. Yeah. <laughs> that armor gave him twenty-two armor class. That's why only spells work on him now. Interesting. And I'm not even using my shield. Mm -hmm. It's just on me. I have to have a maximum of 24 armor if I use my shield. <laughs> okay, then. So, first thing. Wait, wasn't that a poison attack you were doing? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have worked anyway. She has poison immunity. Oh, no, the point was hitting Josh. Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Now. Okay, so that was. Nope. She did not. Okay. Nope, she did not. Okay. We take the animal attack. No, she did not. <laughs> How many attacks does that girl has? Uh, she actually has three attacks per turn. Uh, oh, well, failed. Yeah, her pigtails actually focuses extra attacks with a five foot range, and you are right in front of her. But unfortunately, she's been striking at your armor, and it ain't working. So. Now I'm gonna scratch, little missy. Yeah. Hey Josh, did you not order a character? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Why? Why not? I don't think they have good locks at arms. Yeah, they do. Huh? I said they don't have good. I know, but he made a character on the thing. Yeah, that he he wasn't that good. Anyway. Yeah, yeah plus I'll have to make a new one with a cool robot bag. I'll have to make a new one with a cool robot bag. Yeah. Like the 15. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We've reached the end of that. We're back to Noah. <coughs> well, this girl side hit right, me so much that he failed. Why you fly me? Yeah, y'all keep she's knocking she's Tina around, around, and none of you have good range. She could have hurt range. me. Yeah, just none of it good for attacking. Tina had no, three attacks and could break my armor class. Mm. She likes to jump. I'll just jump on top of her. Where'd he go? So you're going she's to try and one. jump to yeah. Tina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With me, wire flower. Like a flying drop kick. 
Okay. Let's see if that can do it. Well, I know you have the athletic skills to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. So... Roll to break AC. Did yep. he say flying drop kick? Yep. Okay. 20. A nap? Yep. Okay. Hell yeah. What's the damage? Okay, so a flying drop kick. What is the kick? Normal damage. Uh, a normal kick is 1d... 1d8. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, you crit, you have killed her. She has been knocked... She has, been, she has been knocked out by a flying drop kick. The little opium gang has been busted up. The party wins. Gallus is most impressed by your fighting skills. Yada, yada, yada. However, the big problem has been reached here. Pete got away. Pika? No, after him! <laughs> yeah, while you were all sitting there fighting, Pete escaped. That's fine. He didn't hurt us. Somebody. He's a drug dealer. Yeah. He's, He's the guy drug him. dealer you were hired to break up. <laughs> yeah. 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 I collect her body, by the way. The robot. Uh, uh, no, you will okay. not be collecting Tina's body. Can't, what happened to her? The she guards are taking her away. She's dead, though. She's not dead. You just said she died. I didn't say she... Dumbass, I said she was unconscious. Same thing. <laughs> but it's a robot. What you... the... Warforged are not robots. Okay. They are literally living machines. They are alive. She being taken to the jail cell? Probably. Okay. Yeah, with the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... The Rock, are... on the other hand, given the fact that he turned on his compatriots, is not being taken. Did Gronk is being let go. Yeah, look, so look. now Gronk and Tina, uh, sorry, Gronk and Greta will be hanging out in the tavern. Wait a minute, no one ever got damaged, and the only person that got attacked with me is not this. No, I'm reflecting. Josh, Josh. I, I anyway. Did, I did damage at least this time. Yeah. No, fuck. I, know, I, said, I said at least I did. Yeah, damage. okay then, okay then. So, uh, yeah, with that, the battle comes to an end. Now, let's see. Noah was saying how he had to go after the battle, so. Right, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. Before. So I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do here. Uh, okay, let, look, let's make this real quick. Um, I'm going to mark down. Gronk gets arrested? Uh, uh, no, Gronk isn't arrested. No, Gronk is set free. He turned on his compatriot. Okay. Yeah, he was in a, he's in form of. Does he know anything about the, the drug ring? Probably not. <laughs> Now the only thing he really shit. knows is Pete's in charge. So, I want I want my character to go in and take a long rest inside the bar. Just rest for a little bit. Okay, well, first off, you're not going to the bar. Oh, damn it. You're going into the barracks where Gallus is going to be asking what the fuck just went down and then congratulating you all for breaking down some enforcers for the drug cartel. However, he's then going to admonish you all and say, but you didn't catch the guy who was in charge. But we do know his name. What's his name? Pete. Hmm. Hmm. Well, then, I guess next time we'll have to focus on you all hunting down where Pete Guard went. Guard true. Hang my sword. Ah. Yeah, hunting down where Pete went. Now that his enforcers are either all turned to the, turned to the right side of the law or defeated... Yeah. So, good work, yeah. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop here. So, until next time, this has been an MO7 production. Yeah, because we never had the... I have been your Dungeon Master, and I will see you all sometime tomorrow for Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores. This won't be up before that. Oh. But, yeah. Well, well fuck you, Charlie. I can't get it uploaded that fast, okay? Okay, okay. Goodbye, everyone. I will do my...